All right. Are we live? Do you guys hear us at least? Hello. Hello. We're not going to show our costumes until, <laughs> until showtime. We're both just saying how much our faces hurt from uh -huh. the amount of makeup. I'm well, I don't know who's wearing more makeup, though. Um, based on where each going as well we'll see might now, be, not, you, know, you probably were telling anyone on. right yeah okay. you were not telling anyone yet okay yeah and i have no i mean i know who you are or what yeah. you are but but we haven't seen i don't know your costumes yet. yeah um right the hair is gonna be going <laughs> up that's gonna be a oh a, so, oh yeah no i have my hair elastic don't worry <laughs> i don't even know if i can get my hair up the amount of hairspray i have in right now <laughs> oh, oh my gosh that's too funny <sighs> you guys can hear us, right? This is very weird. This is our yeah. This is very us. weird. Oh yeah, Mr. Bean. You do not look like Mr. Bean at well, all. Well, I kind of do though. I see it. That's the annoying thing about it is that I see it. I don't see it at all. I wish my eyes were as big as this jack o' lantern. My nose is is just as big. <laughs> oh, Mary Jane, you're so sweet. You guys are awesome. Oh, good, you can hear. All right. Well, what do you guys? going as for Halloween. Does anyone dress up? Oh, Amanda, you're gone. You're muted. You went somewhere, buddy. Oh, oh, that was my, <laughs> do I sound, do, do I sound the same? Something yeah. happened with my audio. Um, yeah, I'm coming off. Of, do I sound okay still? Lee yeah. Holiday. Mary Joel Vasquez. Edward Scissorhands. From Caitlin is going the epicenter. Ahead. Oh, that's a good um, one. I'm coming off of a wedding, like I not even a wedding that I went to last night, like the second day of this fucking mm. event. And I had a full meltdown, cried, walked oh, out crying, no. left no. crying. No, no. Yes. Oh, you got all the text, girl. didn't you? <laughs> Yo, it kind of makes me sad that you're that girl that was crying at the wedding and left. No, no. That's why I needed to leave. My mom's like, you need to go say... You need to go say goodbye to your Auntie Kim and Uncle Jack. And I'm like, I can't. I'm crying because I'm a 40-year-old single woman, which has I've never really noticed that that has been a big deal for some reason. But I get stuck at this table of all 20-year-olds, like the, the loser table. Shut and up. That's the fun table. What are you talking about? It was not fun, though, because I couldn't hear anything. I couldn't hear any. I was literally lip reading the entire time and everyone was nice. And then I knocked oh, over. The speaker just went crazy. Oh, it did? Yeah. It just went really loud. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, uh, I, I, it's probably just cause I was screaming. Um, <laughs> I knocked over a wine glass, not once, but twice. Uh, one, one time I knocked over a wine glass and it fell into somebody's purse and I couldn't recover from it. So I, oh. I, I just left. I just left. I walked out. That's how I handled that situation. It was so I mean, bad. It wasn't their actual wedding, right? No, it was like, it's like two years out. You're fine. So this was more of like a party. Yeah, but it wasn't a party for me. It's kind of shitty. Do you not think it's kind of shitty to like leave, put some ran, put like a, a close member of your family at just some random table all night like i couldn't even go and like talk to my mom and my family members would you be was it like a i'm thinking they looked at it as like it's the fun single table you don't want to be with the older relatives all night what do you I, no, know i know i and i think i think i was an afterthought no but whatever it wasn't about me i got through it i got out of there I, if i had stayed it would have been way more awkward so i'm out I and I have uh, overthinking it a little bit. Like I think. Oh, I was definitely know. overthinking it. But like, oh. It's kind of shitty. Don't do that. Okay, sit, hold on. sit your single members of the family with people they know, please. Guys, let me know if it's just on my end, but your speaker, it's like loud and fuzzy. But maybe it's just uh, huh. Streamyard. Guys, let us know. Let's see. Okay, let, let me let me check I mean, because we are technical geniuses. <laughs> All right, I'm checking. I'm it checking. Just on my end. Chrome? Is it Chrome? See? Is that what I should check? Uh, sure. Or just like see, make sure your settings on StreamYard are are set to the right microphone. Maybe. Let's see. When my brother got married, he stood up to give a speech. He talks oh. with his hands, a little, knocked a glass of red wine. Oh my gosh! On the wedding dress. Ooh. <gasps> the gasp. Wow. Oof. Now that's bad. 
That's bad. All right. How's this? I think that's better. Yeah, it might just be on my end. We kind of get weird technical stuff, so I apologize. Oh, great. Everyone's saying that you sound fine. So Okay, fine. fine. That's our most common bad review is Amanda's just screaming into the fucking microphone. No. no, no, no. (laughs) Hi, Justine. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm already sweating. (laughs) I feel like my hair might be defying gravity. We'll no, see what oh my god, here. I can't wait to see what you fucking look like. Wow. Well, nice. Oh, it's a lot. I have to run errands after this. So I'm, this is gonna I'm, be if you fun. Can hear hairspray, I'm spraying my hair again. Oh, I got hairspray too. I mean, I gotta keep it up. <laughs> Holy this is shit. what it takes to to look like whoever we are going as, right? Wh- whoever we are going as. Have you hmm. no, have you watched the episode? Have you guys watched the episode? See, now you kind of stone far away. You guys, I'm the asshole here, good okay? Good fucking good, <laughs> Jody. <sighs> I'm gonna fucking murder you. Here, I'll turn this up. Is this, is this better? Now, if you're is this better? Turn it all the way down. All the I way down. Know. Everyone's saying you sound fine, so it's probably just me. Okay, um, I can't wait for the reviews to come in. All right. What were uh, you just asking? Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, are you, what are we, what are we all drinking today? Guys, it's Halloween tomorrow. Hmm. Oh, I, I asked if anyone had watched the episode already. Oh, yeah. So I have not. Over. You have not. I did at 3 a.m. And I'm enraged. I'm still enraged. And you will be more than enraged. Oh, Until boy. Oh, boy. Ready. So I'm definitely going to be sweating. This is going to be good. Okay. So when we go live in seven minutes, what do we do? Just start our cam? Is that what hmm. happens? I, I, I don't want to try it yet. We'll figure it yeah, out. No, we're not going to do okay. this. Let's see. I think we do our little intro thing and then we do a little teaser here and we'll do a three, two, one show. No, I say we go one at a time. I think this is too important to not, to not give each other a (laughs) moment. moment. moment You go, you you, you, you go first. Okay, I'm better not saying we're going to clear out the room here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, Oh yeah. Okay. So hello everybody. Wow. There's 109 people in here already. Uh, Gosh, yeah, no, this amazing. was amazing. Next week, Jody, I believe it is knife in the kidney. <gasps> I can't wait. That's I think it be... is because the preview for next week. Leaving. Yeah, oh, that one's amazing. By the way, packing in Hawaii. Ugh. Mm. Wow, you guys are so good. Sorry, we're just reading all the comments. Yeah, we're here. reading. Sorry, yeah, I know you can't see us, but we are here. <laughs> and this is real annoying. Oh, I'm so excited to see you, Amanda. Amanda. Oh, wait, I. I mean, good God, and the amount of makeup I have on my face. What are <laughs> oh, you drinking I, oh, today, I Jody? I have a Spindrift sparkling water with a little bit of lemon because I have a little bit of a fall cold here. So I don't know how much of my vodka diet tonic i'll be sipping on it's got oh, some might, lime in it it's got need... vitamins right are you taking the shot though it's hella I, i'm not i'm not gonna do a shot i, I gotta kick this well i went out and i bought cold. a little jack daniels shot i went out today do you want this. me to go pour one and i'll be right back yes kind of I'll okay just, i'll have I'll... you in my ears i'm just gonna run i'm listening to everything all okay. right okay come on go ahead tap dance i'll, I'll tap you. dance all right hey guys <laughs> Kevin McMichael says, are we going to see some hatchet eyebrows? I don't know. That that would be, I don't know, that would be a lot. That would be a lot of makeup. We'll see. People are drinking. Okay, got it. Oh, uh, Ames, Jody says, uh, Jody, Ames says make a hot toddy, Jody. I thought about that. What's in that though? I don't know. It's like tea. I got tea. And like, I don't know. I just tea, take it. Just suck it up and take a shot. I'm not, I'm not. All right. Uh... <laughs> I got a little baby shot of tequila. I thought about a hot toddy, but I was running late with my Luke. Oh, oh yeah, I know. Me too. Oh, no, I started getting ready like 15 minutes ago. It was it was not. My curling iron couldn't get quite hot enough <laughs> for what I needed it for. Did you use a curling iron? See, I thought you oh. would have used a straight Straight, I use uh, several tools. I mean, I was <laughs> working. That's why I was so hot. I know what you were using. There's oh, only yeah. one tool that can get you the Oh, there's that. only one tool, babe. Was she she's whiskey and brandy. Now, yeah, was that I mixed together? That. 
Oh, that's what's in a hot toddy. In a hot toddy. Yeah, I might have to look that up later. <gasps> oh. David Dayline, hi. Oh, Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. Kim. And I the am Kim from... <laughs> That's right. And they recap Night Day Fiance too. We're going to be doing our episode, our recaps of um, The Amazing Race uh, tomorrow, I believe, right? Yeah, today's Sunday. So look out for that. Head to their Patreon, Date with Date Lines Patreon. It's always a good time. Ooh, oh, it's hot today. Let's see. Jody, are you robbing with the tight girls? Maybe. You'll just have to well, wait and see. You'll have to wait and see who we are. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Bailey's mixed with brandy over ice. Oh, you know what? We That's could play. We could play a little me. game before we start. We could do, we did what was Cody's favorite movie. We could do. <laughs> that was a song of the South. <laughs> <laughs> We could do oh um Robin's favorite movie or like well, Robin's favorite song. Robin watches Hallmark all day. Uh mm. hang on, hang on. Look at this. Kevin, one of our one of our most devoted listeners. We love you, Kevin. <gasps> Shut up. Ladies, the <laughs> ad playing before your live is Vicky's credit relief service. Is that well, that's on brand? Yeah. Oh, that's we're, amazing. Works for my life too, to be honest. All right. Uh, we oh, got three amazing. minutes here. We got three minutes. I think so Robin's who, favorite song. It's got to be like a Disney, like a Kiss the Girl or something. Do you think that she does not allow everything I own to even be played in her house because that's her? That's his song with Mary. That's a good song, man. I mean that that gets me. It's popping up everywhere. Everyone keeps posting it on our group that like. On their algorithm now, they're all they're, everyone is getting sh like <laughs> everything I owe and stuff. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Well, we know Janelle likes industrial German rock or something, right? She oh does. my God, this is so it. Our, Our God, God is, not. is an awesome God. He reigns. That comes over on that commercial. Up. Yeah. <laughs> Songs of praise. Shout to the Lord. Oh, that that commercial was a banger. Oh, for sure. Uh, hi, is Silverin. My first time watching this live and not as a replay is great. Thanks, guys. Oh, oh settle I in. Guess, I guess we should say really quickly, if you guys want to tip us, tip us. That'd be great. Oh, Definitely God. need it. <laughs> so, so go, Shamanda. Baby well, Shark. Totally. She was doing her break yeah. dancing to Baby Shark. For sure. Mm. Oh, Gangster's Paradise. Oh. No, that's no that's too dark it's too is that dark. that's not secular oh my god yes this is italy yes creed oh. just knocked over my jack daniels that's their my version of of like hard rock yeah creed that's that rock and roll metal music for you. all right are we ready let's get ready give you a shot oh, ready okay um yeah i have my shot ready i have my thing ready so Okay, so you want me to to do all the you know thingamajig stuff for us? I guess, yeah. And like, don't don't hit your start cam until we do the reveal. Okay, okay. okay. You're making me but, scared, Amanda. I know I'm freaked out. I'm gonna fuck this up. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you know, we're I'm just gonna this. duck. I'm gonna duck just in case. Okay, we're gonna all we're right. gonna take this to the to the live show so, here, guys. Hi. Yes. Yum. Okay. And hit that brand. Uh, away we go. <laughs> Welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I'm Jody, and along with my long distance bestie Amanda, we live to break down all the things we love to hate. Each week, we scour TV, TikTok, and pop culture and deliver you our unfiltered, snarky takes on everything. Take a moment to subscribe on YouTube so you catch all our live streams and shows, and follow the links in the banner to subscribe to our free weekly podcast and two Patreon shows, We Love to Hate TV and Total Request Podcast where you request the shows and we break them down. Once subscribed, you have instant access to our massive library of hundreds of past shows and recaps. We promise you'll love it. And listen, we're all friends here, so let us hear from you in the comments. We love getting to know you and we hope you enjoy the show. All right, let's go. Hello. Okay. We're here. All right. This is Sunday, too. We are revealing our 
costumes who we're dressed as today. Amanda, do you, you want to go first or I what? Think you, I think you, well, I think you should go first because first, right? Number one. Mm, yes, yes. I am first wife. Okay. Right, go oh, for it. I'm scared. I'm, it's real bad, you guys. Okay, I, know, I'm, right I, no, I, I hate this. I, I have okay. a, di a towel next to me, like ready to like. Oh, wipe okay. Okay. I I'm hope this, I, okay. I hope this slays. like my necklaces <laughs> okay hold on and then my shirt let's go bananas get it you should like a little cool I, I, I felt like you would wear that that green thing that's like perfect she she always does this oh my god so how did you put together this look <laughs> it's a lot of eye makeup and a lot of bronzer oh my god you're going though. for this <laughs> i tried <laughs> My hair right. doesn't have as many layers, but oof. okay. Ready let's for see me? you. Let's see you. All right, hang on. Let me get let me get all the curls in front here. Oh, okay, ready. <laughs> <laughs> you totally hit the baby doll curls. Oh my! Oh my God! The look shirt is curls. perfect. Yes. Oh, and it's curled in. Oh my God! Look at your eyebrows. They're going the same way. Yeah. They're so. Oh. The amount it's hard it to get them that bad. I was trying to do thin, but like, <laughs> oh my god! Do you have bronzer on, or do you just put a chip? Do I have face? bronzer on? I have like more bronzer and blush than I've ever put on my face combined. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. Like you can see my actual skin color. <laughs> no, this sucks. I don't know how Robin lives like this. The, like, look at this. Like, I they're they're hard. It, the way hard. it's curled in is amazing. Okay, can I take off the scarf? Because, I mean, layers, yeah, guys. <laughs> You're good. I'm glad that you have, like, a, a t-shirt that has, like, a funny slogan on it. That's perfect. A banana. You know, Bana goes... Let's go bananas. Actually, oh, I, I just put together the banana part of it. You know, because she uh, fillets a banana. I don't know if I have enough over. Yeah, I wasn't I sure what I could go for, because she had some crunchy curls, but I just try to go for dry oh, wisps. Dry wisps. You are so, you are the so amount tired. of eye makeup is insane. <laughs> How did you do your hair? Oh, flat iron, and then yeah. I was doing like a flip up with a with yes, another curling exactly iron. It's hard. Listen, Mary was working to get those flips. I thought it was going to be easy, and it was not. Oh yeah, I I went with um. I didn't go with the lipstick. I actually just went with foundation because Mary likes a lip. She like wants that. to. She likes to accentuate how tan she is. Tan. Mm, so. <laughs> the necklace. I'm going with for the Vegas tan. It's that nude lip. Oh. Always with the nude lip. Yeah, I, the necklace was a last minute addition. It's the best I could do. This is how crafty I get. <laughs> Fidelis. Hands, Amanda. This is hers, Fidelis. That's her. Fidelis, she, she's because mm -hmm. she's loyal. She's loyal, very loyal. I look like I should be on Jersey Shore. <laughs> you do, you kind of do. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I, I'm not gonna get the arm fat up there. It's gonna be, it's gonna be all over the place. All right, so are we yeah, agreeing? Oh, to stay we're in the, we're agreeing to just stay like this for the whole time, right? I really don't think we'll I see. can get my hair up. It's hard. It's hard. Oh my god! So what did you use? Is that a flat iron or what did you use to curl I in? A, I just used a curling iron and just like held it for a very long time. And then, and then did you just like bring it down? Is that what no, Robin's doing? Curls. Well, God, these eyebrows. What do you guys think of that? So, and they're not even as bad as hers. No, I couldn't really do it. I know it's harder. Like Mary has a very right now. She has a very abrupt like boom, boom. I think I kind of got it. All right, I'm just like <laughs> Robin's fame fashion inspo uh says Amanda, you have outdone yourself. Thank you. I mean, Thank I think you. she is actually wearing that blouse, but in a burgundy in her like talking yeah. heads. I, I I agree. All right. Um I'm gonna need like a deep conditioning treatment. Thank God getting my hair done in a week or two. Mary like, Jane says, I hope you both used yeah. protection for your hair. No, of course I didn't. I use some texture spray. I just try to like, I just want to crunch. Just a lot of dryness. It is a real big doll. It's a really Ooh. big Jody, you look so good. You look 
<laughs> like seriously, exactly like Mary. Mary, we Great. need to rebuild. We need to rebuild. Hang on with me, okay? Oh, yikes. Okay. Um, <laughs> I almost feel like I should have done more around the eye. No, like, I you, went in the water line. Like you could have, you could have, because she she doesn't stop. <laughs> but... It makes her blue eyes pop. You know, the more black you put around them. Oh my goodness. Oh, all right. Are we ready here now? Okay. Um, you guys are gonna see henna on my hand. Uh, that's from beautiful. Two day Indian wedding I was at, and the my middle finger has lost its nails. So just you know, deal with that. Is there any Sister Wise news that we've heard of? No, and I haven't watched. I saw the rebuild clip, but I haven't watched any of the other preview ones of it. Okay. But you've seen the episode now. I've watched everything. Oh, my God. Hold on. Pomegranate team. Damn it. Oh, You're so right. Jody. Hold on. Let me see what Jody. I got here. Uh, <laughs> what are you going to do at this point? I might, mm, I might be able to play with something here. I can't get over how tan you are. Oh, we need to take our shot before we start. Oh, I'm trying to put lip gloss on it. Damn it. I should have oh, got like a brown sharpie or something. Uh, okay. Um, no, you would have had to go to like a costume shop. Look at how like, white my teeth look against my skin. Maybe that's why she, maybe <laughs> that's why she does it. Probably. Okay. Uh, I'm just doing a, a little... Oh God, I think that was a, a a lip plumping gloss because now everything's numb in my mouth. Everything's tingly. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just want to get good light on these brows here. Sure. Oh, All that's right. good. Oh yeah. I feel great about myself in every way. But just for like a, a ASMR sort of quality, at the end, you have to run your hand through it just for all of us. Just to get I, I don't, that, I don't know what we've been all to, wanting to do. I have fake nails on. Even better. It's going to like catch... All right. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's let's uh, take a shot and then get well, into Let's take this. a shot. Okay. I'm sorry. You guys I'm remind anyone court. coming into this that yeah, this is not this what is we usually look like. <laughs> <laughs> Please. We're we are like, Mary and right? Robin. Obviously, we are Mary and yeah. Robin. Yeah. Besties. Oh, I gave bestie. my husband for you. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah. Three, let's two, go. one. Cheers. Ew. I can't finish that. Ew, tequila is kind of gross. I felt that in my tell you what is good, and it's uh, I wish they would sponsor us, but you know, we're kind of piddly. This spin drift stuff, you guys, is amazing. I used to like LaCroix, but this is so much better. It's, oh, it's not yeah. as bubbly and it has a splash of real fruit. Okay. Wait, hang on. Pomegranatini says, Amanda, you should draw Amanda. <gasps> you should draw beaker lines. I was going to do that, but like that, that's where I had to draw the line. We're like. I'm How ridiculous am I going to look through this whole thing? Actually, Jody, I keep looking. You look really pretty, I think. Like, you look like uh, you're in, like you my... live in Jersey, but you look really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Use a brush. When we're done with this, you have to go grab a brush and just. I have a brush right just here. Just for us. Okay. At the end, you just got to brush that out. Oh, it'll be so satisfying for everyone. And then I'll wipe off my eyebrows with a Kleenex. I am going to do this later because I do have a little bit of a, a fall allergy cold sort of thing. I'm doing this. Oh. I'm doing it. God, you guys are amazing. Your comments are hilarious. Hello, everyone from all over. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're going to get into it. Yeah. Do I do I need a little zhuzh? You look great. <laughs> you look you as like good as you could possibly look in. dressed up as Mary Brown. <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely going to wear this shirt around town. Everyone, oh. uh, go join our Facebook group. It's like seriously lit right now. Like, mm -hmm. like for the past couple months, the Sister Wise content in our group is amazing. So go check it out. It's We Love to Hate TV. Great. All right. Uh, let's let's do this. I'm getting it ready. Of course, I wasn't prepared because I never am. By the way, Friday. when I ordered this shirt from Amazon, it's a little boutique. I don't know. If you ordered that it. for this? Yes. You did. <laughs> It's a dedication to to this show, okay? I own this I mean, from Target. Okay, this is also like a three X, and I'm like, it's gonna be so big, and it's like, yeah, it fits perfectly, but yeah, it's gonna be three X. It's actually a little tight. Um, <laughs> but they sent me an extra two shirts, and it's uh, 
from Phil Philly? I don't know. Uh, Paige and I had to Google it because we was we weren't sure what it means. It says something like we're gonna dance Philly. Anyone a Philly something or other? I don't Why know what it means. It's like we're gonna. Yeah, I'm taking my shirt off because I love being naked. I'm taking my little coat off. It's layered. All right, no, no, I'll, 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 I'll take it. Everyone's really worried about the amount of hairspray that's being used here. Yeah, I, I, I got the door cracked. I have no. This episode, no uh, audio only, is going to be unlistenable. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, just come over and watch the fucking YouTube. I All should right. raffle the shirts, but sorry i'm getting back to the shirt thing really quickly someone let me know what exactly it means it's something like we're gonna dance the we're gonna dance our bell down or something there's like a liberty bell on it and then there's a i don't know something with dancing in philadelphia if it's a sports ball thing not quite sure but okay let me over. know we should raffle them off okay get over your eye makeup um <laughs> It's going to be like down to here by the end of this thing. Jody Blackbird says, oh my God, Amanda, this, this shirt is fire. Everyone is commenting on this shirt. I actually owned this shirt and have worn it several times. So I feel like everyone's now shading me. No, no, no. I own it. But I you know that Robin styles it with like a black slacks and a pump. Yeah. Do you like my necklace? Look at that. Look at that. It's just gold beads. Hmm. I mean, it could be really cute with something else, but this that is very rough. The curls going in is just amazing. Okay. okay. All right. Let's, uh, All right, let's you do read, this. Read the description, the, the scripts coming oh, on. Scripts coming on too. Okay. okay. Hang on with me. Cody deals with the divorce fallout as Christine prepares to leave Flagstaff. Mary and Robin have a heart to heart about the future of the family, and Isabel heads off to college. Yeah. It's mm. definitely what happens. A silver, a silver, and just said this shirt is hideous. Sorry, Amanda. <laughs> it's actually not. It's like a good nice shirt. I think you need to see it styled. That's all. Yeah, like I'm, not, I'm dressed up as rock. You're. You need to forget about the eyebrows and the face. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, what? I'm wearing a paper necklace. You look kind of cool though. Like you look like. <laughs> Jersey realtor or something. Should I should I put my, my I think you Mary? need to put that back on. I want that back okay. on, yes. Just if I'm there. gonna be living in this for the next three hours, then that's what's happening. Do I have to put the Mary scarf on? Because she wears on a scarf. So scarf okay. is no scarf can go, okay. but you need to keep that on. All right, are you ready? We're starting. You guys, we're at zero minutes and zero seconds. Yes. And we're gonna watch the recap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yes. Hang on. Let me just configure this. Okay, there we go. Previously on Sister Wives. Hey, you have a new house. One thing I will say about Christine, no matter what she thinks, she's going to always try to make you feel better about whatever's going on. Oh, this is great. It's big. Janelle has a tiny little house. Why am I going to sit here and suffer with you with your choices? Suffer. <laughs> I am the high priest of my own family, but I'm also a failed priest. <laughs> Cody gets me every time. Oh, I'm in stitches. Cody, he's oh, a jokester. Oh, oh, he's gonna make my mascara and eyeliner, eyeshadow, and eyeshadow, and eyeshadow run. Oh. If anyone really <laughs> wants to laugh, go check out our sister podcast. Surviving Sister Wives, mm. their TikTok account, because Corey has made a whole bunch of different videos. Different to, yeah. I like I could do the dance right now. I won't. But like I could like you know you were it. at a wedding last night, you could have done it. Yeah, but I kind of had a little mild meltdown there. <laughs> so <laughs> and there was no dancing. We just were sitting at table. Okay, I I don't don't okay. get me started on this wedding. Um but like he starts off with like kick, 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 kick. And then he does mm -hmm. some ponies, pony, <laughs> pony, pony. What was the other thing you called it? A skedamo do. A hitchiku. A, a hitchiku. <laughs> God. Oh. Oh, the amount of trolling that TLC does to Cody that he doesn't even realize they're doing. No, they're bros, bros. No, we're friends. Oh, where are we watching? We are watching on Discovery Plus. 
So if yes. you have the Discovery Plus app or you can It's worth it, it, guys. It's worth it. Yeah, they actually have a lot of really good true crime stuff and all that good stuff. It is one of the few TV apps or whatever. Yeah, right. no dancing in a wedding. That is odd. Okay. Let's get it through. I don't know what to do about my house. Selling it now, you know, would make it so you could, we could pay off Pirate Pass and then you know what can actually build on it. So if I That's did rich. sell, the family needs the money right now for the property. Do you think Janelle would even have let her do like if Christine had actually said, "Yeah, I'll give you all the all the money for Coyote Pass." I don't even think Janelle would have let her do that. No, no. I think she'd no. be like, "What are you doing?" Yeah. Like we're leaving together. We have a plan, right? Yeah, let Cody and Robin sell their house, get something smaller, and then they can pay it off. I well, would I mean, love kind of if this too, whole whatever. thing is is Janelle's like her, like Janelle's like the smart one in the family, like the financially sound one. Mm -hmm. If she was like, okay, Christine, this is what we're going to do. You're going to leave Cody, announce it a week before the uh, season 16. Mm -hmm. And then I will leave him at the end of season 17. Yes. Thus we will each make more money after that. Then Janelle will say, we'll ride across country in my RV It'll be like a little Gail and Oprah thing. We're like, Oprah, her VJJ is a pain. My VJJ is she a pain. Doesn't, she doesn't <laughs> like camping, but Janelle's the Gail and she's like digging it. It's like a road rules. They're so clearly not together anymore. If he's not no. sitting with her at Logan's wedding, I think that pretty much says it, right? Well, maybe robin needed him to help with the little ones no because the little ones weren't there i like want to okay. draw on a baker face right now because i can't like, do it mm. i can't like frown like that i think it's easier if you went with a nude lip just put some foundation on your lips like mary did oh so you can do it i can't do it it's the nude look ah, there we go and i'm older so i have lines but we're also the same age as Robin, though. That's the craziest thing about this, is that we're the same Wait, age as Robin. No, Robin's older than me in real life. She's I like 43. She's another year. We're the same okay. age as her. Sure, sure, sure. Which is... Yeesh. Okay, let's do this. I I can, like, feel the makeup on my face. Oh, you can? Really? <laughs> you can? I mean, if I took a fingernail it right now and scratched... It'd be just, it'd be like just a chunk. Oh. All right. I'm going to sell my house. I'm not going to put that money into Coyote Pass. This gets me every time, this music. Yeah. They always got to do Janelle wrong with that photo from their wedding. Yeah, I know. Shot from this angle. God, Cody looks like a toddler there. Yeah, Christine's house. Oh, I love the rain. Christine's been hassling me for months to get all my stuff out of her garage. I'm busy. Oh. I've got work to do. And now she's put this big thing on my plate. I don't know what to do. Oh, he's got one chore to do. I my stuff up out of my bedroom and moved it to the garage. He would have never gotten to it. I don't actually have a space of my own. I don't have a place to put this. I don't have a corner. I don't have anything. <laughs> also, whoever just, whoever mentioned earlier, uh, like a couple of seconds ago, did you guys meant to have the the banner that says pre-party playing that whole time. Oh, no, no of course we didn't. we didn't. No, of course we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we don't fucking know what we're doing here. I can barely but thank you for mentioning it. I, I took it wake up right now. Yeah. Oh, I my can God. Feel it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Poor Cody. He's got nothing. He doesn't even have a corner. Oh, he's been busy working. $200 an hour, Amanda. 
He has no time to go and get his shit. Nine hundred thousand dollar mansion. In this episode, they do talk about finances a little bit, and it's okay. fucking fascinating to me. I mean, kind of. They they work around it. Cody there's talks no about going to like a road show at some point. Okay, there's no way he's working so much that he can't go pick up his stuff. She's packed it already for him. He just has to yeah. go pick it up. Send yeah. Robin over there. Send Brianna or Aurora oh, or whatever. Robin can't go though. No, Christine's gonna be mean to me if I go. Mm, she mm. and the the nanny Either are taking thing. care of the little ones, right? Yeah. God. And honestly, if he hasn't used it in that long, this is like the the inherent purger in me that I just love getting rid of stuff. Oh, if you too. haven't used it, just be like, just toss it. I I obviously don't need it. Throw it away. Oh, he's doing anything just to hang on to Christine being there. God, he's a yep. monster. No, and, and and like here, here, Ray says he only has a million dollar house, poor yeah. baby. Oh. The amount of room he fucking has. I could not even mm -hmm. like fill up that house if I tried. Yeah. Oh, it's just lazy. Just like Robin. Cody had to duplicate everything that he had he had all of his stuff spread into four houses when we were in Vegas. It's just a polygamy thing, I guess. I found myself looking at four closets for a shirt sometimes. Well, he's not enough seven. What the fuck are you talking about? Poor, poor Cody. Sometimes he had to look for a shirt. Can you imagine how tough that is to look and for a shirt? He couldn't oh. find one closet in all four houses. I bet you Cody has more Calm clothes down. than all ladies combined. Right. And men don't even need to dress up for anything. They they just have like button ups. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Being a man is much easier than being a woman. Mary's house. He hasn't for years. He hasn't stayed there for years. He <gasps> can't have so much Janelle's house because she lives in a little tiny trailer. So he has quadruple what he needs at Robin's house. Ooh, <laughs> say it. How much does she enjoy saying that? She was like holding back. Now laughing. I said it. And yeah. now I said it. Now it's happened. And he has the room for four times the amount of stuff at Robin's house. Yes, because she she's like, Janelle lives. I think we haven't really got into the, the optics of the difference between what he's allowing Janelle to live in and what he's allowing Robin to live in. Not allowing, but like he's, he has one wife living in an RV to pay for his more liked wife. Mm -hmm. It's fucked up. Well, so just think about the assets alone. So Robin's got a almost a million dollar house. She has a million dollars in property, her lot. Yeah. Janelle has her, what was it, like $90,000 trailer. Yeah. And her lot, I guess. And we find out later in this Mary episode runs. that she, she literally is hauling water like a milkmaid every day. And uh, so, like, every time they have to flush the toilet, they have to, like, plan for it. <gasps> I could never live in a place like this. <laughs> like, oh, my It needs to be God. all hands on had, deck this second it She's had six kids. She's peeing, like, three times an hour minimum. Oh, is that a thing? Well, at least, at least I don't know. I've given birth to four kids. Stress, and I, like, always have it to it out pee. a little bit? No, I just always have to pee. I don't know. I just feel like it flies through you quicker. Yeah. But then yeah, also, uh, J Janelle is farm, living off of a uh, um, that farm to table. Uh, generator. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Yikes. Wait. Stuff to go. So what I'm doing right now is thank you for the stuff you that's not mine. You will you want the shop back and buy a shop back. I would love that shop back. I have an emotional attachment to this house. Yes, I do. Listen, I have an emotional attachment to Christine. Michael. Yeah, uh, yeah I'd hope so. <laughs> yeah. That's your second thought. That's his second thought. Well, actually, come to think of it, I have an emotional attachment to my wife that I've had for 30 years. Yeah, we've been married for, yeah, 25, 30 years. And we have six kids together. I certainly would hope that you would have a very strong emotional attachment to her. I feel like we actually witnessed the moment he realized right there that, oh, I have an emotional attachment to Christine, too. Yeah. 
and he's not even listening to her. She's like, listen, I have things organized if you just want to grab this. And then he's like, well, I'll shop back. I'm a oh, squirrel. Oh, God. Can you and focus I don't know for if you second? notice, like, right at the beginning of that scene, I hate these fucking curls. I want to, I, I'm like, sweating through the flips. my head right now. <laughs> <laughs> How does Robin do it? Oh. Uh, at the beginning of that conversation, Christine immediately said, yeah, also, I just want you to know, thank you for helping me with this. Because definitely her therapist was like, just keep saying thank yes. you. Keep validating him. You're dealing Make with a ticking time bomb. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Do I mean, what look you need at to do to get out of there, and then you don't have to deal with them day to day. Just know you're you're getting out soon, you know? Sorry, I'm just reading the comments. All right, here we go. To get rid of as much stuff as possible and move with less stuff. That's why I want you to take that take table so bad. Okay. I, want to, I don't want to move a lot of stuff. Well, I assume that what we're doing is we're splitting all of our assets, the house, the land the everything we've got 50 50 which is funny because she's already sold off some of the stuff that was ours so my name is on the property and i also have this house so to split 50 50 how about if we just cut it and i keep everything from the house and the family keeps everything from the property i don't need anything from the property you're ready to sell this place yes uh, right now my name is the only name on this house a lot of playboys women don't have assets in their name. Like if we only had the property and I didn't have this house, I would have nothing in my name. All right, let's talk about that. That's so fucked up. Okay, first of all, that's that he's like, uh, like, like 50, well, I assume uh, 50, 50, and she's already sold some stuff. Okay, you already have more than 50, 50. Again, you yes. are living in a million dollar home you're you're good you already have more than christine has so to be like well and i want half of what she has which is only going to take away from his own children is ridiculous and selfish and then he's like oh she's already sold off some of our stuff well just like she's saying here okay well then do you want it do you want to take the effort in selling it yeah because well, no, you haven't even packed, want i've packed up all your shit for you and you're not going to even use any of this yeah like do you want the the table that I'm selling, no, because Ram's not going to want it, so I sold it. Yeah, and then in the in the scene, everything Christine's saying to him, he's like, oh, "Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess, 50, please." And in previous episodes, he has said over and over, and I'm sure you guys have seen it on Reddit or TikTok or whatever, that people are pulling up past episodes where he's like, "Every wife is free to go whenever they want." And you have an asset in your name, and that's up to them what they do with the asset. Right. And then, uh, or was it Robin's? Like, I really respect Cody for that because I was in that position and I didn't have anything. I was all by myself. I had no help. Pfft, whatever. If you guys really want to like have some fun, go into like Reddit groups about the finances and how that Cody will like, he doesn't, he doesn't do, I just saw this. Someone just posted it. He doesn't do lending the way like you're supposed to. Like he does full lending. Like you are not. A, that's what that's these um the people that own Coyote Pass that sold it to them. Okay. He they say no. You are not allowed to touch that land until you have paid it off completely. And it's actually very smart for um people to do that because then. When the balloon payment happens, like they, they they have to pay this off, and if they don't, then the then it just goes back to the owner, right? And so Cody and his family have until I think July of 2023 to pay off Coyote Pass. Otherwise, it just goes completely back to the owner. Oh Jesus! Just great for them. I wonder if they're late on payments or what, because that's pretty wild. You, you don't think they're late on payments? <laughs> well, I mean, I could see why they maybe wouldn't be able to build on it because, like, you have to think about it. then if the people who own the land, whether it's a bank or, you know, uh, an investment company, whatever, if someone started building on there, the Browns defaulted on their loan, if they were to take over that land, then the people who are building on it could file like they could file a lien on it and be like well no because i put value into this so it just cause a whole yeah. big thing 
Ugh, yeah, no, and, but that's what Cody's been doing. Like that, that's what happened with the house in Lehigh, I believe. And that is also what happened with the houses on the cul-de-sac. We'll see. Okay. He takes out these incredible loans. Oh, right. Or like 80 20s or yeah. Yes. Like 70 20 tens or whatever. What this is kind of where it goes back to Robin because I think if Robin was honest and said, I love this million dollar house that I live in now and I don't want to move from it, I don't want to build on Coyote Pass, Cody would probably be like, okay, well then let's sell it. But she's feeding into Cody's fantasy of still building on there someday. And I don't think also, Robin really wants Are that. they even able to sell it, though, now? Because they don't really own it yet. Um, well, probably. And then they, they would probably just like pay it. the difference of whoever they took the loan out for. It's just like owning a house. If you're not, if you don't have your loan all the way paid off, you could still sell it. I mean the amount of stress this family must be living on. That's why Janelle is living in an RV because she's seeing these numbers. Right. And she, and she knows it's not realistic. Like, okay, if we're going to build on it, then I'm building on it. And now, I mean, she's calling really Robin's bluff, I think. Yes, for sure. Because Cody lives in a fantasy land. He doesn't know what he's doing. Wives to own the assets because dad goes to jail for a cohabitation. They're going to take all the property. Christine's walking away with her money from this house in this deal, she'll be able to buy another house. Janelle can't do anything on Coyote Pass until we pay it off. That's your problem, not hers. That means I get 50% of everything that he yep. has. All of his property. That means his and Robin's house, too. If he wants yep. to go down the road, but that way, that doesn't make any sense. And I, I think that that was exactly like what I was saying. He's got more. Best thing. Yes. She's like, if we want to go down that road, I own half of what you have, technically. Yep. So I can yep. take Robin's house from you if, if I wanted to. If she wanted to. Yeah. If she really wanted to, like, I mean, that would be awful to go through that. But she could take If they have everything. cars. If they have yep. cars. Half the equity in the cars that he's paid off. Well, they, they probably lease or whatever. But still, half of anything. Half of his gun business. Yep. That's all, uh, Half of whatever the ownership would be hers as well. God, you know, I just thought of, just get, I need you to mentally prepare yourself for the fact that that guy who he officiated his wedding, his like gun yeah. show buddy, he has like five talking heads during this episode. What? Why? He's like a character in the show now. Oh no. So get ready for that. <laughs> Yeah, Kate, well, hold on, really, sorry, really quickly, Caitlin no, has a good ahead. point. The 50-50 matters only when you're legally married. True, but if Cody were to go and be like, oh yeah, I'm fighting for 50-50, that would be brilliant. If Christine's like, okay, great idea. Let's Sounds like a plan. Oh, can you imagine Robin? Oh, my poor oh. children, they're going to be homeless. Do I look, should I do it? Hmm. Hold on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this. It's always how Mary always does this. She always puts her hand up like this. Like, I have an Apple watch. Mm. Also, well, yeah. And then Mary also goes, <laughs> Listen, Linda. Listen. He doesn't want to fuck me anymore. <laughs> God. All right, let's do this. Christine's such a queen, man. See, I get the house. You can have the property. I'm Ooh. Just Okay. Christine and I are only sharing our, mine and Christine's, shared assets 50-50. She doesn't have any access to the, uh, the rest of the wives, their assets, or even my assets that are shared with the rest of the wives. Now, oh, that's convenient for you. Yes. So I just want to say that Cody's, in this... Cody's role. <laughs> oh, he's working the visor. We got some visor work. That, but like, so he's talking to Christine, but he's, he's talking, he just, he had just mentioned the shop back. He's very concerned oh. about the shop back and he's kind of gesturing by holding Napoleon like, complex, like the shop back, like hose, the attachment. Yeah. The attachment, like the hard attachment. So he's like beckoning with it. Like, so you, you, king want, of the castle, king of the you, castle. you want to do this yet. I'll do this. <laughs> He's holding this shot. Back That's like what back. he would do with his selfie stick thing. His tripod. Remember oh, he would carry God, his tripod around it. everywhere. Oh, do I, yes. Do I remember his fucking God, he loves, loves that visor. When Cody he wears all... a visor, that's like a good hair day for a woman. He I'm surprised is he's not wearing his... work gloves here. Yeah, he just, uh. it's like he needs an extension always mm. on his arm. He needs like something to make gloves, him more powerful. A shovel yeah. to hit 
on a piece of bark. Because Christine doesn't give a fuck. Christine's like, yeah, just do whatever. Yeah. Go get out there. Bye bye. She says this goes south so fast. There's a real issue of other places in this whole valley right now that are available. Maybe it's just time to do that. Is it? Um, yeah, I think so. Why is he holding it like a newborn baby? Okay, all right. He's holding it like a baby. Also, in the garage here, I can't get over this. There's an upside down box. Yeah, I'm trying to. That says balloon in. time, and that is a uh, thing that you blow up helium balloons with. Right. Why is that there, and why is it upside down? For parties. Oh, it's a balloon. They tank. like to entertain. Yeah, probably like for Isabel's party. And then there's an entertainment system that's up on its side, that's up on the dolly. I think she really needs to close that uh, that circuit box there. You need to close that up. <laughs> yeah, close it up, Christy. Yeah, that could rust in there. Wait, can I just tell you how thrilled I am that you've agreed? Because I have been praying so hard about this one thing right here. It's like dealing with a baby. Mm -hmm. To me, it made so much sense. I agreed to it. We're done. We're moving forward. It's not the most fair scenario. The problem is, is Kylie passes and paid off. So she's walking away with the money we would have paid off Coyote Pass with. She's got that. She's given us her lot. But we still have to pay off Coyote Pass. Yep. Well, yeah, so that's so your fucking problem now, asshole. Right. That's your problem. <laughs> Right. Because you decided that you didn't want to be married to her anymore. And she's like, right. okay, yeah, I agree too. So that's what happens when you split up and get a divorce. Neither of you are left whole. That's, it's that's just what happens when thing. you decide to write in a book cheekily that uh, you were disgusted by this chubby girl eating nachos in your car. There was chili and cheese everywhere. Everywhere. Actually, to say I was disgusted would be an understatement, is what he said. Yeah, no, he definitely said that. Because <laughs> that will live in my head rent free. <laughs> so he, now he's the victim that he has to pay for a property that he wanted. She should have to pay that off before Whoa. she leaves. Well, what are we supposed to do, though, now, Christine? <sighs> God. I want to get a fucking job. Is there anyone that is defending him at all? Anywhere? Are there Cody lovers out there? Probably. What was his incel group? The the Mansphere? Manosphere. 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 God. Yes. <sighs> okay. Here's Janelle. Uh, coming Give with up, some. Coyote Pass, man. Christine is taking her equity. We gave family money to Christine. We gave family money to Robin to buy her house. <gasps> the equity stake that Christine has in our property, the, the Coyote Pass property, is about equal to what the equity is in her home. This is easy. This is a really clean transaction. Exactly. So, uh, All right, what are you doing with all the bedroom stuff? Selling it. Starting over with my bedroom, too. Yes, girl. He just oh my I love, god. I love how much he can't he can't get a read on this. Like he can't get on top of her with this cuz she just and doesn't care. Yeah. 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 Cuz she is just nailing him. Every, yeah, I'm getting rid of it. Yeah, I'm just mm. not I'm getting rid of it right now. Cuz you know in his mind it. if she said, "Oh, I'm taking it with me." He would have been like, "Okay, well, that was an expensive set." Right. And so right now she's she's basically saying, "Do you want it? Do you? Yeah, I was going to sell it. it. I'll sell it to you. It, really cheap if you it want. means nothing to me. Nothing means that we nothing. slept in together. Yeah. Nothing at all. Not special. He just doesn't. I the, way, the way he's looking at it wistfully, like, <sighs> yeah. Now he's like, if you guys want to see, he's like leaning, he's really thinking he's about like, it. Oh, do I get it or no? God, what's my next move? <laughs> He just, he can't do this. No, he can't think on his feet. He thinks God. of all these insults, things yeah. that he's going to say on the way over there. And then she just throws him a loop and she says it just as sweet as can be. And he doesn't know what yeah. the fuck to do. 
And like her therapist definitely told her, just say thank you. Like, tell him how much you appreciate what he's doing because he can't turn it back on you. She's like, because no. she even said a couple of minutes ago, like, I just want you to know I really appreciate that you, uh, you know, we came to terms on this. That That's really yeah. great of you. So where does he go from there? So now he's just like leaning on this thing like, oh. God, I wish, honestly, I want to order a cameo from her just to ask her, who is your therapist? Who is your therapist, Christine? Like, I promise, like, you don't even have to record a video if you could just send me your therapist. I don't name. want her to record a video because she's going to yell at us again. Oh, yeah, she might yell at us again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> girls, girls. Oof. Girls, mm, ladies. It was almost like Kathy begin- Hilton. The beginning, she had the chicken salad in her. There's like, it's like, uh, we yeah, got a was, cameo from uh, Christine, guys. If you, if anyone doesn't know, and she scolded us. Yeah, it was like I Kathy felt Hilton like I was being yelled at by my mother. Saying hello to Rinna and Erica. Hello, girls. <laughs> that was pretty much Christine. Hello. We're like, yeah. it's like mm-hmm. ooh, girls. <laughs> and then Isabel stood up for us, and then truly oh, gave no. her tea at some point. It was a fucking mess. All right, yeah. here we go. I just need a new bedroom set. I'm sitting here just in this weird place of it's it's not really truly denial it's it's that i that everything that was special the house the kids the furniture christine everything's exactly <laughs> christine is leaving our love our he mentions marriage the furniture the ha- house is for house, house? Is first furniture, furniture. everything is just like this is not mine that right there like boom book close end of story that's all you needed to know about cody it's not mine it has to have his name his it has to be his for it to matter yeah god he doesn't care about christine he he, he hates he's hated christine since the nachos incident He's jealous because she naturally draws attention to herself. She's the natural center of attention. And she's, she's, and she's a bright a, light. She's a light. Exactly. She's a light. Cody is not a light. Cody uh-huh. is like just this toxic. He has to perform. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, God. We're getting spammed with some new site with hot girls. <laughs> you want to put it up there? I got a block <laughs> user. <laughs> I just blocked it. Sorry, guys. Right. Oh, okay. can we get it down from fun. there? Right, I'm, just, I'm just trying to get Maybe it Maybe they there. saw my makeup Luke and they were like, she's, oh, she's got to be on some sort of campsite. They're whores. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. Woo. Uh, okay. Here we go. Where are we? We're uh, six minutes in. Six, six minutes and 51 seconds. By the way, guys, go ahead and try to tip or super chat or uh, super uh, click or sticker, whatever the fuck it is, uh, if you want. Okay, I need, okay, I wanted to pause on this. We are at six minutes and 56 seconds. Can you pause on this picture and look at how every kid looks? This is that one that we had talked about before. Terrible picture of everyone. Let's see if I can hold it up. I don't know if it'll, oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, yours is better. It's like all the kids are kind of mush Every, mouth. Especially the one Janelle is holding. I, I, I and guess it's Maddie. Maddie. And it's Maddie. It's Maddie. I, it's just <laughs> a bad. Just Every stopped. kid's Every looking in a different direction. Started. But you know why this picture was chosen to submit? Because Debella DeBall is in the middle. And he looks. Because he's doing his. He looks happy. Is Jack Nicholson. <laughs> he totally God. is Jack Nicholson. I think I put that up as one of our covers in the near future. Maybe we are. Who is everyone here? So we got um, Mary is holding Mariah. Or uh, I'm sorry. uh, Leon. Sorry. Cody's holding Logan because, of course, he has to hold the boy. Oh, the oldest boy. He'll carry on the the Brown family name. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) Janelle is holding, I guess, Madison. Madison. And Christine's holding Aspen, I guess. Aspen, I think, yeah. God, Christine has always had the best hair ever. It's just billowing down. It's the opposite of what my crispy 
Mary so Wisps are Cody doing right was now. was most sexually, was least sexually attracted to Christine. Somehow. Well, look at this chubby, gross girl, Amanda. Oh, there was. Oh, sorry, it's all blurry. And look at how gross and disgusting everywhere. she is. Fucking busted. Okay, and look at, this is her after giving birth to their child. And he's, How? How? Uh, Jill Tune uh, uh, just wrote, I'm late. Mary and Robin are looking good. We're not feeling it. <laughs> We're trying our best here. Okay, let's see, let's see this. Oh, hold on one second. Oh, oh. we keep, we, we're both clicking it. You click it. <laughs> okay. okay. We're, we're both clicking at you at the same time. <laughs> Unpopular opinion, but I think Cody is ain't so angry because he does care about Christine. Yeah. I don't, I, I, I think I he's, am, I'm validating you, Gigi, but yeah. I'm putting a wall up. I don't feel safe with this discussion. <laughs> <laughs> I think he cares about getting even or being uh, like better than or it's he's all about not, he's winning. not gonna want equal to. Yeah, he wants to win. It's not because he loves her, it's because he resents her, I think. Yeah, Walmart pictures for sure. Oof. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is a shock to me. The whole experience. The Oh my God, Cody is so red in that picture. Cody looks insane in that picture. They're dressed as like the fucking uh, Phoenix Suns, like apparently. And I actually know that. the col Those are the colors of the Phoenix Suns. Actually, I think that was Las yellow. Vegas. No. That was LV and U or whatever the hell where Logan was going. Well, Phoenix Suns is also those colors. Right? Yeah, but they were in Vegas. Remember he UNLV? No, but I'm just saying, going, those are the colors. Also, the, they... Something okay, could be sorry. I didn't know you were a huge sun's head. A huge phoenix head over there. Okay. So what are the sports? <laughs> now that she wants to put the house in the market, that's... I guess I just better get used to this because this is the way that it yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, boom. He's pouting. God. Okay, thanks. All right. Christine is definitely walking right into her kitchen and pouring a big glug, 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 oh, glug, God, glug, I glug, hope glug, so. Glug. Oh, I hope like, so. Hi. Bye bye. She probably poured herself a huge gla glass of like Riesling or Moscato, but I will, yeah. I'll allow it. Goes it. The sweet stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, like a peach, a peach wine, a peach schnapps. Ooh. First thing I ever got drunk on, Jody. So I made a decision and asked his opinion, but in the end, what I choose to do with, with this house is just up to me. My name is the only name on this house. Our family, the whole family, helped Christine buy the property, her house. Okay, and, and she helped she you buy yours. Buying Coyote Pass with us as an agreement. Coyote Pass isn't paid off, but she's walking away with the equity from her house. That equity technically would be partly. The families. Right. Why doesn't legally, he understand? Not legally, because you're not fucking married. No, but also technically, she is leaving her equity of Coyote Pass to you. Right. So you're even. What doesn't he get? Well, I mean, he's so mad. He Such has no shit. idea about business and money. He thinks because he's a man, he automatically knows, but he obviously doesn't. Because she could say the exact same thing to him. I am leaving equity that I put into this family, into the land, into years and years. I have equity in Robin's house. I have equity in Janelle's trailer. I have equity in whatever the hell Mary has. God, he's an I, idiot. I have a question. How are you going to do your skincare routine tonight after dressing up as Mary? Oh, like, are well, you I mean, going like, to just like so immediately? <laughs> I'm like, I'm every, I, I keep not, I'm not looking at you. I'm like looking at this. But every time I look at you, I'm like, how she get it out? I'm probably gonna have to just like pull my hair back first, go in the shower, and just like let it oh, all yeah. rain just down orange, power orange wash. and black, yeah. and then I'll go into the hair. And then you're gonna have to bleach the whole tub because it's gonna Ooh, be just yeah. filled with like and like a deep. Uh, I'm gonna have to leave in some conditioner for several minutes. Oh yeah, let it sit. Let it <laughs> yeah. sit. Oh, my God, I'm getting a haircut. They're just gonna be like, "What did you do?" For anyone just joining the chat, this is the most people we've ever had. Uh, we are dressed as Mary and Robin. Yeah, this is not our. Not what this we is not like. what we look like. Please. Oh 
<laughs> okay, I've seen this a couple times. People think I look like Chelsea Huska. I, I saw that too a couple times. I no, actually, hair, you know who I look like. Damn, like an insane like thing like this. She does a polygamous poof. Yeah, she does a Victorian yeah. lady. Um, I was gonna. Say, I also have been told that I look like Lacey from Love After Lockup. I can see that though. That's because she has big cheeks and small eyes, like I do. And I can see that you also kind of look like the chick from Love Is Blind. Oh no! Here we go. Shana. Oh, the bitch. I can Great. see a mild resemblance there. You said that. Look, I look like Mr. Bean. So Shana plus down. like two hundred pounds. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take oh, it. Hey, it's better than Barbara Streisand that I got. We start and stuff like that, and then we break up. It's a struggle to actually separate everything, but it's not cut and dried. Oh, oh there's the work gloves. And I'm moving. Okay. Oh, we're in coyote ass, motherfucker. <laughs> Cows? It's a just steer. showing a bunch of cows. They don't own cattle. Why are they I've showing cows? I've never seen cattle? them out there. I have been in the RV for a month. The trailer was a <laughs> I love this oh, shot of funny, Janelle. But it is. The shot of oh. Janelle just sitting like at the at the table like uh, there's a lot of extra vehicles I and just took around. the biggest shit Cody is gonna be so mad at me for when he has to empty that I mean <laughs> do you just go in the outdoors then yeah I mean isn't that easier oh god you does that attract cool. animals I don't know outdoor living or what did it repel no because animals are weird like they'll want to like if there's like a dead raccoon this is from all my days. Are you in shitting a dead raccoon, though? I'm not talking about shitting a dead raccoon, but I said animals will want to roll on the dead raccoon to get their scent on it. So if you take a sh I don't know why. Yeah, but that's like an animal about. that can still be eaten. Nothing's going to want to eat your poop. It'll like, it. Though an animal will pee and poop on your poop. Okay, so if you take Walter for a walk, does he right, roll himself in poop? In another animal's poop or just a dead animal? No, because he's a perfect little boy. Look oh, in there. God. Okay. Walter, okay. stinky. Hungies? Okay. Uh, but yeah, no. They they <laughs> they will they will roll themselves on it because they that's why a fire hydrant is so popular. Because they all just want to like piss over each other's scents. I don't like this discussion, babe. All right, let's let's move on, gross. Oh. music they're giving to her but i love being out here i love it i wake up in the morning there's the mountain i, I love being out here the mountain that's her oh. explanation i wake up in the morning and i look at the mountain and i just love it okay any other descriptors of what's good about living out here i mean mm. that's cool I, one of my sisters would live in a tiny house or an rv or something like that i get it I wouldn't want to live with Robin's house being able to overlook where I am. Everyone's talking now in the chat about how dogs eat poop. Yes, I know they do. <laughs> it's like uh, when I used to poop. Oh, she's rabbits, baby rabbit. Yeah, but now they don't come back. They learned. <laughs> yeah, they learned. Uh, no, at my, at my old job, we had a board of poop eaters and it was like 25 dogs. That That's kind of like when I was teaching and you'd be like, okay, you definitely don't want to take birthday treats or like a, a holiday baked bread or baked goods from certain kids or families. You'd be like, yeah. why? Because they're dirty? Because they well, eat poop? Like, not because they eat poop, but like, you know, they might be like nose pickers or like, you know, there's certain families that you'd be like, mm, you might not want to. Those would be the ones they'd be like, oh, I, I got Dunkin' Donuts for my birthday. You'd be like, oh, yay. And it, like every single one of them would have like finger, like gross. You'd be like, oh, I'm going to save it for later. Mm, I can't wait. And then you put it in the garbage and then you put stuff over it. So if the kids come back, they think you ate it. So you don't hurt their feelings. Uh, well, okay. Uh, cool. Here, here, this is interesting. 
Carlotta, which is a great name. That's an opera name. If you feed the dog pineapple, not a lot of it, but just little pieces, it will keep them from eating their own poop. I did it and it worked. Mm. Great. Everyone's talking about poop eating. Hey, don't eat that pineapple with milk, though. God, be careful because your brother, well, Burke, might hit you over the head with a mag light. Great. R.I.P. John Benet. Too soon. It's never too soon. Yeah. I mean, he definitely did it. Allegedly, I mean, he did right? It. I mean, he, allegedly, he's, but definitely is the yeah, yeah, he did one. It. All right. <laughs> trailer is an absolute inconvenience i think it might be fun for janelle it's like every day she's dealing with one new problem and yet it's still easier than living with him we're trying to figure out an easier way to get the water from the jug to the tank see i can't oh my god i'm just trying to get water in to replenish what we've used. I have to haul eight of these in order to fill my water tank. And the water tank lasts us about a day and a half if we're conservative. <gasps> Did you take my garbage to the road today? Because I it's gonna rain and I don't want to haul it. Watch it all the truck's all full. Um, all right, oh I'll my it's a oh, soul put up on you poor piece of shit. Shit. God, do this one fucking thing for your wife who's not even asking you to sleep over. You get to spend garbage all your time bags. with Robin. You have a huge freaking dog. Oh, God, okay. He's got a huge freaking truck. He can't throw two garbage bags back there for his daughter and his wife. And hey, Cody, if this is such a pain in the ass and such an inconvenience, I don't know. Um, maybe make sure she has a home to live in because you got Robin yeah. living in a million dollar home. And Janelle's and Janelle, having to live in this, but it's an inconvenience. Oh, it's really annoying that I have to do this. Uh, just seeing I randomly says, did you go? <laughs> Watch the unsolved mysteries, body and bags. Yep. I really want you to talk about it. I love to hate. Yeah, didn't we have a whole conversation about that on the text? You hadn't really watched it yet, but I'm working. My I did way like it, it though. It's crazy. Oh, let, let's talk about this. Yeah, the cistern. So, why didn't she park that thing closer to the cistern then? Well, maybe yeah, because, because the cistern is up on that hit the hill the heel. It's the up heel. on the heel, kind of. I have you watched that YouTube that somebody posted about um like who owns each property? Because Robin's name is on every single property except for J J Janelle might still have Robin's name on it. I think Janelle probably had to park hers on whatever didn't have Robin on it. So it was oh, yeah. right. Oh, right, because Robin was like, mm, I don't know about that, Cody. Mm, be careful. Uh, right. So I think that, and the cistern really doesn't do much unless you are literally parked right next to it. Well, there's got, I mean, then why did they put it on there? They spent, what was it? Was not it like $100,000 or something like that? God, I I recently rewatched the episode Cistern Wives mm -hmm. where Cody has Solomon out there and he's like, get in there. And he's like, no, thank you, daddy. And Cody's like, get in there. Come on. He's like screaming at him. And I Solomon's like, I don't, uh, don't want to go in the, I don't want to go in the hole though. He's fine. He can go in the hole. It wasn't like it was a. So you're on Cody's side. Grave. <laughs> you're not. On no, the but I mean, like he's gonna be fine. It was, it was like a ditch. It wasn't even like a. How am I on the child's side and you aren't? Okay. I mean, it's fine. But I mean, the whole thing is like maybe they should have paid off the land instead of paying to put a cistern in. Well, they need Christine's house to do that, though, Jody. Well, even before that, they shouldn't have put the cistern in then. What was the point of that? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's, uh, everyone's probably telling knew a guy. The cistern. Yeah. You can have all the water you need. Um, yeah. But if you can't get it there, right? There needs Ooh. to be a place for the green. Oh, God, gross. Well, yeah. Robin's land, I guess. In the trees? <sighs> yeah, where does that go? Gross. She really loves the idea of being here. Because it's been nice to sit out here. Oh, my God, the truck is not full. What a... The view is gorgeous. I think that she's doing really well because she's handling it well, but I think it's been overwhelming. Because it's been a challenge. There's just no chance I want to sit here and say, I told you so. Or gloat. I'm not going to gloat in it. Oh, no. Cody would never gloat. 
Cody would never say, I told you so, except now he's saying it right now. But the thing is, Janelle is like, yes, it's a challenge, but it's a challenge that she's kind of enjoying. He just doesn't like it. Yeah, so it's, it's an like inconvenience little adventure. for him. Because well, because he lives in a million dollar mansion. Right. Regularly. He has to put two garbage things on the back of his brand new truck. That is so tough. Hey, Cody, she wouldn't have to live out there if you could, you know, get a house for her and your daughter. But Janelle doesn't even want him to get a house for her because she's worried about, you know, finances and stuff. Yeah, what a martyr. The, the music. It's harder for me because Savannah is struggling. So I want to keep that for like our clothes and our food and stuff that we need. I'm not sure this is sustainable unless I can really bring this to some sort of even keel because she's miserable. She's still on board. She wants to get the house built, so she's here. Like, but I know that it's been rough on her. All right, but in my opinion, Savannah, you're fine. That's tough. Sorry, though. but you. Sorry, you're fine. There well, are she so is, many words. Like Janelle is saying, that. she just wants to know that like we're doing this with an end date in mind. You know, like we know that we are going to build that. It, yeah. It's not just like this. Oh, well, someday. Savannah, you know, Savannah has had it rough. I, I, I will retract my bitchiness there. Um, Cause I, I think there are maybe zero scenes that exist of Cody hanging out with Savannah. In with the other little seasons. girls. The yeah. Backseat. She is so sweet. Ugh. She's the sweetest, but not as sweet no. as a uh, little sweetie. Mm, Ariola. There's so much investment here in this family. Oh, it's showtime between me and you. It's a, yeah, yeah, it, this is us. It's us. Showtime synergy. If anyone knows that one. I wish that people could see that. Christine talked to us a little while ago about, you know, her decision to... I just want to pause right now really quickly and put up Nick Noel's uh, comment here. Yes, he did. Pineapple in her stomach. Yep. We all know exactly what you talk, you're talk. you talking about. Mm -hmm. Don't even mm -hmm. need to expand on that. One of us. One if, of us. You know, you know. Yeah. All right, here we go. We are at 11... 11 minutes. Dude, and full beaker seconds. face. Full goiter in view. Is this I mean, are we are we the same, Jody? It's pretty close. Your eyebrows are not as I not know, as I tried, not, I tried. but it's hard. I mean, you don't have that natural. I should have made mine more spermy. You're just not right? as handsome of a woman old. as she is. Yeah. I'm not what? You're not as handsome of a woman as Robin is. Cody's mom. Cody. She she's OG. Neil woman hmm? oh it's a woman she's a handsome woman all right here we go we're at 11 minutes 13 seconds for sure leave cody i have decided to leave i'm gonna leave cody <laughs> even though i knew intellectually it was coming it was still hard why are you doing this you know how are you breaking up our family you always hear how kids feel when their parents get divorced. But you don't very often hear how a sister wife feels. Mm. The kids can't control their parents getting divorced and sister wives really can't control when a sister wife leaves her either. Not she really. is holding back the biggest smile. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, we're at Mary's house. Uh oh, it's Mary's showtime. House. Uh oh. I gotta get my Mary sitting my outside with an American ready. flag ornament right next to her. She mm. loves the 4th of July fave holiday. Oh, yeah. She does love Americana. Yep. Oh, oh yes. Is she going to have a water she... cup ready? I wonder what her uh, 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 political leanings were. Her mm. political leanings were. Whatever the LuLaRoe mm. cult leader says yeah, to I vote for. <laughs> Here's Robin. Oh, looks like a fairly new minivan. Robin's driving. <laughs> How's it going? This oh. is two women that have lived oh, together for 10 years. How awkward was that? 
Hey, the intimacy between the two. Oh, you, the can feel, you can feel it. I'm real good. Cool. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> oh, Come on. These uh -huh. women do not like each other. This all. is like matriarch versus matriarch. <sighs> yeah. Acting. Yes. Yeah, still. Showdown. Yeah, they, they all fucking hate each other. But Robin knows that Mary's the only one that likes her. So she has to kind of keep her. But it's like. <laughs> And she knows Mary might, she knows Mary can be a bitch and she can be manipulative and scary, but she's the only one that she can still flip when she wants. She knows how to play Mary. Yeah. And she's She way... does, because I think Mary is mildly like into Robin for mm -hmm. some weird reason. Mm -hmm. So, and Robin uses that. Absolutely. <sighs> There's this heavy weight between us you bitch she's not that much bigger than you robin oh, oh, this this was, like crazy how's it going um that's it's weird oh it's weird actually it's perfect because i live in yeah. a million dollar mansion and i haven't had a job for the past 20 years um hold on stop everything look at mary's necklace Fidelis. Is that the floor de Lee? That's yeah, the floor de Lee Fidelis. It's not the heart Fidelis. It's the okay. floor de Lee. That, but I need to, I need to, um, I need to add to that. She also, so here it is. Yeah. Also, you can tell that it's not real sterling silver because her whole chest is bright red. Mm. So just it's like. anger too. <laughs> you see, you, can you appreciate the ombre effect on the eyes that I try to achieve? Do you see it? How it's like a purpley yeah, brown. Yeah, I, I wanted to ask black. you what version of Mary were you going for? Okay, well, there was a couple. I was considering going for kind of what she has right now, which is like a a kind of scrunchy, scrunchy yeah. curly. But I feel like she's most known for the the aggressive yeah, the razor kind of, yeah. layers. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, and really the, her most recent haircut is the best it's ever been. Like this, oh, really no, like no, she, this is the best thing, she's, yeah. but she's really, well, the long the dark hair eye. was the best. She should have stuck with the long hair. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Robin. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. What, like, what, like, what I, I, haven't, about? I haven't seen a penis in eight years. 15? Oh, you're... no more than that. Way more than that. Well, there was that banana. Ah, uh, yeah, but that wasn't Sam's. Do you think Mary has slept with anyone? No. Like Cody is the only person all of these women have slept with. Yeah. You think that? Well, besides Robin, because she gave her special her special purity flower away. Yeah. Biggest mistake of her <laughs> and life. And then she. Yeah. Then she Dayton. got pregnant with Dayton. Like, biggest mistake. Big mistake. Huge. Tried my yeah. hardest. Tried my hardest. Mm -hmm. God, how does she say that to Mary? What a bitch. <laughs> you didn't say a whole lot. Did I read you right when we were with Christine? Oh, yeah. I'm just real frustrated. I didn't trust myself to say anything, to be honest with you. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 it does. It totally affects us, but like it's more about him. We have a relationship with her too. Supposedly, it doesn't affect us because we're not a part of their relationship. But that's bull crap. It's so crazy to just sit there and watch this big bomb going off in my family. I'm not really sure. <laughs> What? It affects Robin, is what she's trying to tell you. So now this she's pissed off. Robin. Yeah. So now Robin's going to be mad because what? It affects her and her kids. Right? Yeah. I, 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 mad at? She's mad at Woody, I, re I really like what you look like. I think you look really <laughs> like hot. I'm like attracted to you. I actually look better. <laughs> When I, I look like Mary Brown, I didn't say better. So I just—it's a cool look. You look cool as hell. I'm just really. I'm just. Every time I look up, at, I'm like, oh, she looks really good. This is so sad. I'm, I'm not 
just why right you now. Look better. I'm saying you look good. You also look good normally. You look good. When you put so much makeup on, you don't even look like yourself. You, you, don't, so you don't look. You don't think you look pretty right now. I think you look so. Pretty. Oh my god! I'm, I'm old. like honestly, <laughs> if I were to go like this and show you under my nails, you would be disgusted. I probably would. Oh I'm pretty gross. god! Right. Or maybe like in real life, if you were to see me, it probably looks more ridiculous than it does on camera. But anyway, oh, I, think, I think you look gorgeous. Okay, so she's <laughs> okay. So she's pissed off that Christine leaving affects her and the kids. But she is, maybe she'll say something after this, but she's not concerned how Christine and her kids have felt since Cody has not seen them and been with Robin full time for two years. That since hasn't come up at all. Before truly came out of her vagina. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Sure, we have a family anymore. It just seems like it's this big change of venue, and I don't know what it looks like now. We still have a family. I mean, it's still our family. Well, you do. Oh, it's just not in it. In our family, Cody is married to each of the wives. The sister wives have a, a sister wife relationship, but not a romantic relationship. At first, when he said, you know, she's moved my stuff out. And I was like, well, and she doesn't want me in her room. And I'm like, then go sleep in the living room on the couch. Why weren't these two talking it out? Stay on the couch. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hey, Robin, fuck you. Uh -huh. They have been having these issues since season one, episode one. Also, yeah, because we're rewatching this. We're yes. rewatching. We are rewatching re this. all of the previous episodes on our We Love to Hate TV Patreon, and she has said from the first episode that she's we're having had problems issues with because Chelsea. of Robin. Exactly. So for her to be like, oh, we'll sleep on the couch. Also, if I were Mary sitting there, which, you know, I kind of am Mary just sitting here. You are. You're a hot Mary. <laughs> I would be like, hmm, did you ever tell him to do that when he and I were having problems? Did you tell Cody to stay at my house and sleep on the couch? Yeah. How about when he's having problems with Christine? Did you ever say like, hey, go to Mary? Maybe Mary might have some good advice. Right, and Christine has been having problems and have been has been trying to work this out with Cody on camera for, for ten years, just Over as long years. as Robin was going through her shit with her husband. She is such yeah. a fucking hypocrite. Oh no, the way hypocrisy. more time than Robin was having problems with her husband. Well, I think that that was ten years. Right, they were married ten years, but I thought she said like she spent five years. The last five years, I swear she said that somewhere. The last five years, she was really working on it. Right. So, okay. Yes. So, Christine has been having problems and trying like double to double the work amount on of time. Yeah. I don't know if anyone remembers, but <sighs> on one of Christine's anniversaries, she made a therapist come with them <sighs> on, on their, their anniversary, anniversary trip <clears throat> to like Texas or something. Yeah. Oh, and also, Good point about Mary. Um, Mary's also, I mean, she emotionally cheated on Cody and everything too. Uh, I don't necessarily like feel bad for Mary because if yeah, Sam okay, were real, polygamy is she would have left cheating. his ass. She would have left his ass, but like polygamy is cheating. So I just don't feel bad for the men at all. Uh, yes, it is cheating. Well, I mean, the women know that he's uh, married to... Listen, I, I'm not I, like pro polygamy by any means. But... Polygamy, I think it's a Oof. terrible thing. God. Okay, so let's see how how more Robin's just gonna like disregard any relationship that Mary well. does not have. For how hard it is for Robin. I'm really angry. Yeah, I'm really angry. Obviously, you don't care enough to fight for her. Obviously, you didn't care enough to fight for me. Yep. And I don't understand that. I'm feeling betrayed. I can't imagine what Cody's feeling. Mm. Cody is now questioning me left and right about things that mm. I thought he knew about me. Like he's struggling to trust everybody around him. Hmm. What? Yes, you're going through a divorce with Christine, but you have marriages that you have to maintain. He still has us, 
and he still has marriages with us and he still has to fix them and figure them out and get over his anger enough to actually interact appropriately or he's going to ruin every single one of them. I'm going through a divorce. Just give me a little time to be sad and angry and go through this process. I, I, I'll get over it, I think. <laughs> Goes, okay. I'll get over it. I think. It's a lot right there. Okay. Yeah. What do you think about Ooh. this? Okay. I'm just. I'm processing this. Okay. So. Me too. Mary feels betrayed by. Christine. Is that what we're gathering? She said, "I feel betrayed." No. I, yes, but I also think that she's like saying, "Like Cody's giving up on both of us." Right. I guess. I mean, hopefully she's saying? feeling betrayed by both of them. Like he promised this family that we were going to be, you know, a polygamous family and forever and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So she feels betrayed by Cody because he said he was going to, you know, be the celestial husband or whatever the frick that is. And then. The like, high priest. Robin... Oh, yeah, that's right. But he the failed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a high priest and all my wives are leaving me it's hilarious pony, pony. okay and, but now Robin's like oh he's gotta fix these other marriages and he, there's so marriages he has to fix them why so you'll have a show so you don't have to get a job that's why she wants him to fix it do you think that's what it is like do you think it all comes down to the show Okay, well, let's think about this. While they're re while they're recording, while they're taping this season seventeen, season sixteen is airing. So Cody right. and Robin are starting to see the tides are turning. People are waking up and they're seeing what monsters they are. Right. Right. Yes. So now, Christine's leaving. It's not looking good for Janelle. We know where Mary stands. And now Christine is feeling very empowered to be like, yeah, he doesn't even go see Mary. He hasn't slept there once. He's not sleeping with Janelle. He's not the trailer, whatever. So now Robin is seeing, okay, well, Christine's going. Janelle's probably going soon. Mary could change her mind at any moment. She's pretty much gone already. Yeah. If those three go, well, we don't have sister wives anymore. Like if these women are like us, these women are paying for her. They're paying for right. entire income. Right. And if the three of them leave, what are we left with? The two of us. I mean. People don't like us. Yeah, but people would still watch this show. Yeah, but they I would watch. I would still that watch time. the shit out of that. Yeah, I guess that's true. They wouldn't realize. Because this is the and highest the, the ratings have been in 10 right? years. Right. But now remember that before... Oh God, what was it like season 14 or something or season 15, 16, whatever that was, each wife was getting like 150, 180, 200,000 or something. Yeah. And then Cody renegotiated. And then they were going to do it. Fully all of them 180. So I'm sure in the back of Robin, I mean, Robin is a businesswoman, you guys. She's, oh, she's an she entrepreneur. Is. She's a CEO. So she's, she's an artist, thinking, a designer. She knows what exactly. she's doing. Exactly. So she and Cody, $200 an hour, are thinking, okay, well, if they leave and we have to split 180 with them, that's three. And there's only two of us. So we're going to get a lot less. Or they just give the two of us whatever 180 and each of them is going to get a bigger price it's all about robin not having to do shit yeah it's all about her being lazy she's this never is what it comes down to is robin yes. is lazy a, a lazy piece of shit she's never and done one thing for the family even when no, she was designing never. these these sick designs right here where did you get that oh i printed them off from my sister wife's closet website and then i blew them up and i just printed God, them you're doing a lot of work printer. on this Maybe I should, I, I should like have like a little craft TikTok. I bet, I bet if you your, sold uh, you get your scissors over that here. you were wearing, you would make more money than my sister wife's closet ever. Hey, hold on. Gross. Actually, uh, this one right here is marked down from one hundred and six ninety nine to ninety five ninety nine. Yep. Oh, it's a deal. It's like Jody. a whole eleven ninety nine discount right there. Yeah, um, no, Robin's just lazy. And also, Christine, I'm sure, is it has her own deal now, right? 
Like she's not splitting shit with the fam, the family with no. TLC. No, she's definitely making her own chunk. Because this is she the might be line. taking like a discount to do that cooking with Christine, just because it's kind of like a little pilot sort of thing. So yeah. she might have just taken whatever they were going to give her for it. I'm sure she's not getting 180 thousand for it, but she's getting something. Yeah, but she's not splitting with the family. No. And that's what Robin's thinking. Like, crap, we're either going to be splitting this between me, you, and Mary, or me and you, and the other three are going to go off and do their own thing. Do we feel bad for Robin yet? Because she no. is stuck with this man. But she, she created kind of did this. It to herself. Yeah, she did this. I don't feel bad for her. Listen, actually, I would have felt bad for her had we not had that scene where they were in her driveway and Cody said, Mary has been quarantining. Is it okay I, if yeah, she yeah, takes yeah, care yeah, of the yeah. little precious tender ones because she's been quarantining? She's been doing everything right. Oh, and she I goes, don't know. No, Cody. no, this is not the time okay. to change anything. No, no, no. The other family will be mad if we do that. I just don't know, Cody. Yeah, if she said, yeah, absolutely, then yes, right. go for it. And that also lost a lot of trust with Mary because, you know, Mary saw that scene. It was probably like, you bitch, you have been saying that it's been Cody this whole time and it's not. Cindy Peterson says, oh, my God, stop it, Amanda, yep. with the Robin pity party. I'm not. I, I swear to God, it's not a Robin. I think she's it's because I'm, I am Robin today. But no, I think she sucks. I'm just trying mm -hmm. to live. You know, have and, a conversation of maybe, maybe should we feel sorry for her? Cause he's abusive. He is abusive. Well, well, we don't know what he's like with her. He probably is. I mean, I'm not saying that he's not with her, but again, she could leave too, but she's not going to because she likes she's lazy. and enjoys the lifestyle. Right. And yeah. I do think that we have to, and I don't want to, oh God, I don't want this to come off wrong. I just ran my fingers through my disgusting, crunchy hair. I, I, I want to so bad, but it's, it's, look at this. Look at this. But I, oh, that's going to be a really cute ponytail, actually. It's going to be like, boom, it's going to be so bouncy. Oh, it'll flip under. Um, I think we need to remember that when she left her husband, David Preston Jessup, and she took right. three Cody's kids. Cody's first she cousin, said, right? Yes. Cody's and Christine's cousin. cousin. And Christine's first cousin, yeah. Actually, he's Christine's first cousin and Cody's like second, third, but whatever. They're all oh, cousins. that's okay. Fine, fine. Yeah. You have to remember that, sh so she had Cody adopt the kids. But then immediately after that, she and Cody brought the kids to go stay with him for like a month over the summer. So yeah. he's such a horrible that person. He's horrible, terrible, yeah. terrible. And the kids were excited in that episode. And I think we're coming up on that maybe like two, three seasons. Um, the kids are super excited to see their dad. And they're like, it's been a while. We can't wait. So if he's such a horrible person and you don't trust him and all this stuff, but you're willingly sending your kids, especially after you've adopted them, it's just... The story doesn't jive. No, it doesn't line up. Or Christine K says, oh, Christine. Mm. Christine. Christine K. Robin played the family like a fiddle. She is the abuser. No, I listen, I I I don't like Robin. I'm just I was just trying to open I up the conversation. I think you do. I think that's why you dressed I'm up as her for Halloween. You really like her. <laughs> no, this sucks. I hate this. Look at this. Oh my god! I can't wait till you take that brush through it. I want you to like brush it back this way. Oh yeah, yeah, guys, stay till the end because I'm gonna brush my hair out. It feels so good, and it's okay. gonna be so poofy. Mm. You ready? Yes. It just makes me think: was it just all a lie all those years? She's always said how much she wanted the sister wives. <gasps> when I married Cody, it wasn't just because I loved him. I felt like that I had a confirmation from God that I was supposed to be married to Cody. And so I did Christine. Still like that. She had to be open to the idea of that Cody came God, this picture of Janelle looks so bad. <gasps> oh, I didn't even like see her back there. Oh, she's just, she's just a little nerd, but like gorgeous. Mm. Also, she just never got the chance to have like a hot girl summer. 
<laughs> no. Before having kids, before like shitting out a bunch of kids. Women. That's not an easy thought process. Why is she coming to the family if she's going to do this after? And she didn't even talk to me about it. Um, I agree to be a sister wife, but I agree to be an equal wife. Okay, can you pause for a second? Yes, and I, I want to address this comment here. D. Yeah. He says, hey, ladies, is there an easier way to put the video on the screen so that we can see as well? There's, there is. We oh, will there is is it, Well, let us know because we can't, we've tried everything and we can't get it to screen. Discovery yeah. blocks it. It comes up as a black screen. It'll we do it. block and it'll just Send be... us a message by all means. Please let us know if you know there's a way. Um, we yeah, we'll get copyright. Exactly. Um, but if you know a way around it, hey, let us know. We're open to it. Okay, a couple things here. Uh, Christine absolutely went in the family, and she had a call from God. She said it in their book. We, I think we read that passage. I don't know where we read it on one of our episodes where Christine said, like, I kept after him because I had a a testimony or whatever yeah, it might be. Yeah, a testament. Yeah, where I, I got that calling, too, that Cody was the one for me. Um, and then... For her to say, like, why did Christine come and talk to me? Well, Mary, you're kind of a bitch. <laughs> like, you, you, you've never been that close with Christine. You were always mean to her. She's not going to come to you. Yeah, that's sorry. Like that's outrageous. Oh, also, these home videos seem, like, so old. But they're not. Like, they're from, like, our era of yeah. home videos. Ugh. Yeah. I don't like that Christine was than a sister wife. I felt like that she was a friend for a lot of years. You were nasty to her. Well, but you Come were a on. bitch, though. Sorry. The family structure that is for us. And then now, just all of a sudden, everybody's just changing their mind because it was hard. Okay, pause. Shut up, Mary. You wouldn't let Christine walk Janelle's kids up her stairs across your apartment in Lehigh. When yeah, but I'm, I'm on Mary's ICL. side 100 there. They're oh. fine. They For are to say, fine. no bullshit. You guys, come on. Let it's I am completely cold. on Mary's side there. She it's in Lehigh. It's icy. You have ba you're carrying newborn babies. You're and it's cold out. They can't walk across feet. a family room. They exactly. Can't walk five the, feet. They can't. And she exactly. wasn't even home. Mary wasn't even home. And for Your her house, to though. walk across. And then <laughs> now it's, oh, we were a family. Nothing's too hard. What'd she say? Oh, uh, we believe that this is a family structure. It's for us. And then all of a sudden now she's whatever. Mary, come on. You changed your mind. Come on. Oh, no. Right, I mean Bull crap. <laughs> By the way, guys, don't get mad at me because I was I took Mary's side. I think Mary is a terrible person. <laughs> and that one issue I did, I do take her side. Get, get it on my house. Guys, get send us out. Amanda Jody one at gmail.com if you know some way to stream where we don't get copyrighted. We we've you know, tried to let us know. right now. Yeah, no, <laughs> hey, hey guys, we're not we're not the sister wives for real. No <laughs> arguing. So I'll get along here. <laughs> All right. She wanted to be more than equal. She wanted to be loved without giving love. I'm taking it really personal. What? I'm not going to cry about it because I'm pissed off. There's so much investment here in this family. You don't just let that go. Regardless of the work that you've done, the sacrifices you've made, why would you say, well, you have to stay even though you're unhappy? Yeah. I just don't want to admit or even accept the idea that it's just whatever we had as a family is gone. Here, here's my problem with Robin. Well, she just said, I'm stubborn. I don't want to admit that. And by the okay. way, everyone agrees with me, right, guys? Everyone agrees <laughs> well, with we'll me. See. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll get more people in the chat later. Um, <laughs> but Robin had this dream of having this whole sister wifehood. Fine. I kind of yeah. believe that she did want that. Sorry, Robin, you joined a family 20 years old. Yeah. This family has already created themselves. They've already done this. You joined too late. So yeah. sorry. Bye-bye. 
And it's also their fault. Robin changed her mind because as soon as she had Solomon, Solomon was like precious. She wouldn't let anyone oh, hold him, oh, come precious. near him, come over to the house. She had a nanny. She didn't want Christine watching him. So you changed your mind too. And it's outrageous that Robin has the balls to open her mouth when she herself has left a marriage, divorced someone. Has been someone. through a divorce. You've been through it. And it was so hard for her. Robin actually, I, I, I've, I've actually heard that oh. Robin's divorce, that that's the hardest it's ever been on anyone in history of divorce. Right. Yeah, the it's worst Robin. one. Mm -hmm. so bad no even though the kids still see him all the time love him and call him his dad and dayton changed his name back to david right right yeah. weird though but mm -hmm. robin had it so hard in her divorce mm -hmm. we've all been through fucking divorces calm down <sighs> christine isn't even acting uh, dramatic about the divorce She's no, like, and yeah, also yeah. Robin stepped into a house that her stepdad owned and her mom and her stepdad helped her take care of the kids. Then she moved into a house that um, Cody and the wives paid for. And then right. Janelle cashed in her 401k to pay off her debt. And then Christine had McKelty, her daughter, move in with her to take care of her kids. Oh, and then Christine was also working nights when she was she pregnant. Was. With Julie. Well, she was nine months pregnant, in fact. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. This is why, guys, like, I know that there are people out there that do like Robin, but, like, these are the things. I used to until last season, and then re-watching it, I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, now she you slept. see it all. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you kind of have to watch season 14 through 17 and then go back and watch, and then you yeah. will see what a monster she, her, mm -hmm. her and Cody are. They are made for each other. They're, like, a perfect freaking team. And just to echo everyone who's saying the same thing, like, yeah, Mary's all like, oh, uh, Christine's not committed to the family and whatever. Yeah, okay, uh, Catfish, she would have been leaving his ass if Sam yep. were real. She was out of there, please. And, okay, uh, I, I want to address this. SJ says, the judgment is on all the women, not, not the man. Typical fucked up patriarchy. I hope you don't think that about us, because we fucking oh, hate Cody, Cody more than I want the wall to leave Cody. No, like I hate Cody way more yeah. than Robin. If Robin left Cody, I would be like really happy for her. In fact, Cody. I think people would be stuff. shocked, but I'd be yeah for sure. I think oh, because she'd have to get a job, but uh, but I Cody, do think Mary's a bitch and Robin's a bitch. Too. Yeah, I think. Cody, but I'm not saying it's all that. I mean, Cody. Both stuff. things can exist at the same time, but no, don't worry. We agree that Cody is the villain of this story. Mm -hmm. Cody oh, yeah. is. And, and TLC knows that too. And that's why he's getting this edit. That's why yeah. they're trolling him so much. No, And finally Cody we can compare stories story. too. No, I hate Cody. I promise mm -hmm. you. All right. They don't have a choice. This is the <laughs> Jesus. The family as we know it no longer exists. When she was talking, it was like released. Like she had released the relationship. I could see it. I could feel it on her way. Oh, yeah. And he's like, I haven't felt released in uh, 11 years. <laughs> You've been there. Yeah. It's just so familiar. Ooh, that hurts. Yeesh. And I've seen Cody give up on me and him. I didn't give up on Mary. It just turned out the relationship was essentially unstable. I just didn't feel like it was tenable. It's not a functional relationship. And we can get along, but we can't be together. People have asked me. So you gave up on the marriage because you don't want to be together. What happened is that he's not attracted to Mary anymore. I think that's the bottom line. Is he doesn't and want to be together anymore? She went. She was going for the catfish. She was leaving his ass. Okay, but he also had sex with three other women. Like, Absolutely. So both, both things are true. Both things are true. Oh, by the way, SA, SJ said, oh, no, I meant Mary and Robin, not you guys. But thank you. Either either way, you... Oh, no, that's fine. No, that's I'm fine. glad yeah, you brought that up because we should make yeah. that clear. Yeah, we, we should make it clear. Here. Yeah. We're I mean, aware like, obviously, that... We look up to uh, Mary and Robin. Look at us. We want as our, I mean, the icons. Yeah, no, we, these are our heroes right now. So what? Who cares? So, so what? So what? Who cares? So what? Who cares? Oh, okay, Megan McGregor. I'll put it oh, up. Oh no, sick uh, toddler. Oh, you too. 
you to help me through it. Back. So thank oh, you for the tip. God. Guys, if you want to us, there's some anyone way to else, do it. I don't know how. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like anyone else who's sick or who has kids sick, it's like nasty stuff going around. Stay well. Ugh. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. So just, uh, yeah. Uh, Mar this is sad now because now Mary is finally saying, like, yeah, he gave up on me. I think she's trying. This is like the perfect opportunity for Mary to tell Robin as a friend, like, this is how I feel too. Like, I wanted to leave, too. It hurt me, just like Christine's hurt. But Robin's just like, mm -hmm. So we have to You're going to stay, right? And we all know the exact moment this started happening was when they made her pretend like it was her idea to divorce him for the kids. Mm -hmm. Even though I, I, I would love to hear a lawyer's thought on this. Uh, I know we have a few lawyers that do watch us, listen to us. Yeah. Did they really need to do that? Because I don't think they did. I think that Preston Jessup, the fucking fifth or whatever the fuck his name is, <laughs> would have just given up his rights anyway because he would have been forced to anyway to not pay child support. Did they really need to divorce and then have Cody marry her? I just don't believe that that's true. I think it would probably make it. I, again, I don't know because I'm I'm not a lawyer. I'm not Star Jones. So what? Who oh, you're an actual that? lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> but I would think. <laughs> oh, that's a deep cut. I would think I that think. it would make it difficult if you have a man who's married to a woman, so Cody and Mary, and he now wants to adopt another woman's children. Well, that's why polygamy is illegal. That's why it should be illegal. Well, that's I know, but I'm just for. saying, like, yeah. did he have to marry Robin? Maybe not necessarily, but I think a court would be like, wait, so you're married to this woman, but you're going to adopt this other woman's children. So it would make it easier in a court of law to be married to Robin and then adopt her children. I would just, but I would again, love to know like really how necessary that is. I don't know. Um, thank you to Lena oh. Newman. Wait, oh, Lena, oh, sorry. Did you we and I keep clicking things at the same time, <laughs> so it goes away. Uh, she gave us a tip. Uh, thank oh, you so, so much, Mary and Robin have never looked thank better. You. Yeah, we're trying. Thank you. I need a oof. I need a flip. So both of us aren't married to Cody, so we both like have <laughs> yeah, you know right. good skin um, and not like bad wrinkles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot what I was gonna say, but anyway. Oof. God. Oh, I was going to say. We got, we got an answer here. Oh, yeah. Uh, Cindy Peterson says, I'm a lawyer, not a family law attorney, though, but it would be a, hard to adopt while he was married to someone else. Okay. Also, parental yeah, rights, visitation, no. child support don't necessarily go hand. Yeah, but do the Browns ever do anything, like, correctly? There's no way. Well, that, listen, like, he, this would be a good question. If Mary was not actively in a unbeknownst to her catfish situation, would she have divorced Cody. To yes, hundred percent. And also it's not, a, if it's she not wasn't being catfished. Oh, hi Debbie. Comedian, uh, an actual comedian in the group comic here. Oh really? Yes. Could admitting uh, any of the loophole Cody loopholes Ooh, Cody admits to land him in jail. Question. I'm surprised he's not in jail. To be honest. Maybe in Utah. Cause Utah is the one with the polygamy laws or whatnot. Shouldn't he just mm. go to jail for the illegal gun sales for fuck's sake? Oh God, be careful with that one. Yikes. Okay, let's <laughs> let's get out. Thank you, Dina. Now. Yes, we uh we've gone in full costume. <laughs> I cannot wait to rub my <laughs> fucking makeup off. Sorry, oh, I'll take a picture of like a towel <laughs> and wipe this stuff off. Relationship with him. And I have been trying why is Robin smiling and Mary's crying here? Well, but Robin's still beaker face. And I always come to peace with it. I'm just grateful that you're sticking it out. Sticking it out says it all. Hang on with me, okay? This is cruel, I feel. That is mean. This That's is not... this is mean. Tell if you were her friend. You would tell her bye bye, like go. I you want you want part of the family. I this? will miss you. Like the, I, I, that's what would come out. Like if this were you, I'd be like the selfish part of me wants to be like stay. I'm gonna miss you, but I want you to be happy. You need to be happy. 
to say, hang which is, on which to Which is exactly us. what Janelle is doing to Christine. Janelle's saying, I don't know what this is going to look like. This is going right. to be weird, but please be happy. The juxtaposition here, TLC, there's the editors they have there need to get every Emmy award in the world. Oh, I would love that. The way they're editing this, because this is mean. This is not what you do to a friend. Yeah, it's just, just condescending to say she belongs with us. Meaning, like, we have this set family, like, this poor little lost, ugly duckling. Like, she belongs with us. Like, she can come over for Christmas. It's just very condescending. It's I don't just, like that at it's, all. It's it's yeah. it's really, really fucked. Absolutely. Yeah, yep. absolutely. All of this, her. it's just not, it's not fair. And she should be, she should have told Mary to leave years ago yes mary go please he doesn't love you there is no celestial kingdom probably uh well, there's for even looking at her instagram you are so happy when you're with your friends you're so happy when you're out right. you look don't at, like look at how much you are like lit up mm. when you're on yeah. like your instagram and then yeah. look at you when you're interacting with cody and how he hates you so much I mean, listen, it's almost like, and I'm sure everyone has people in their family that you can think of, like, I can think of someone in my family who wasn't treated great by another family member. And it's like, I have an okay relationship with that person, but I understand where you might not. Like, you, you need to do what you yeah. need to do for yourself. And if it means cutting that person out forever or for a time being, then that's what you need to do. And, and Mary I'm is still going to love you. I'm still going to need like she's 50. Like yeah. this is the time to go. Don't stay mm -hmm. till you're 70 or 80. It's just not, it's, it's so fucked up. Yeah. Um, this is weird too. I totally agree with this for some weird reason. Jasmine says, I think Robin and Mary feel entitled to Christine for some reason. Like, yeah, her life is theirs that they should have a say in it somehow. It's bizarre. Sorry, Bye bye. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to butcher this. Jaqual, Jaqual, mm -hmm. uh, says Cody is not on Isabel's birth certificate. He's not on fucking any. I'm sure he's. I'm sure he's on Solomon and Ariola's though. Oh well, they're they're tender. They're of tender, tender age he when they were born. Uh, yeah. Just God, God they're. I I I just want to. I just want to immerse myself. If somebody like released all of the financial, release the tapes. Release, release the, the tapes. tapes. Yeah. All right, let's do I this. Just, I just want, yeah, I want to see all the financials of fucking Cody Brown. We have to rebuild. We have to rebuild. So what does that mean? Rebuild, but the building stopped happening right happening right when you came in the family. There's no rebuilding. What is that? What do you think Robin means by rebuilding? I honestly don't know. She definitely doesn't want more sister wives because there's been like scenes in the show where she's like, oh, no, no, no. Cody's not getting more wives. No, no, no. But Okay, Scout. Okay. I think she just means let's all, yeah, yeah Scout, calm the fuck down. Yeah. Uh, I think she just means like, let's all be happy again and we make Janelle, rebuild, make Janelle like me, I think is part, probably part of it. Yeah, that's not Because remember in the tell-all? The tell-all Suki, listen, Suki. Mm. She asked, she asked Janelle something about Robin. Janelle's like, yeah. I mean, she asked me if we if we could be friends, and I was like, yeah, I'll think about it. I'm good. Yeah, I think I'm yeah, good. Probably okay though. Yeah, you kind of suck. Yeah. You you suck. <laughs> you like rebuild, <laughs> rebuild friendship. <sighs> yeah, I know we do. Just hang on with me, okay? Hang on with me. That's so selfish. Manipulative, yeah. To yep. Plural marriage and give that big picture of the whole family to my kids. Okay. Ari's five years old. They're not even going to get to experience it. That's because you came into the family too late. Yeah, Sorry. They're the youngest. They're Bye. the youngest ones. That's how it goes. Yes. Sorry about it, but you came in too late. You missed the boat. Bye. And you could almost say the oldest ones missed out on it some too. Or they got the yeah. worst part of it because uh, Logan was like wiping asses and making breakfast. He wouldn't even get yeah, the fun stuff. At five in the morning. So, I mean, like that, yeah, that's part of being the last wife. You're going to have the youngest and a lot of them are going to be out of the houses. Oh, well. Like, and it's, it's like, it's not, 
it's not Christine or Janelle or Mary's fault that Cody decided to have tender age kids way mm. too late in life because yeah. he just wants to show off how much, like how fertile he is. Yeah. And his kids are going to be graduating college and he's going to be like in like a freaking nursing home. <laughs> well, in Dayton, Day, what, Day Aurora, Abriel, Abriel, Day Aurora, Abriel. Yeah. they're all of the ages of the rest of them. But Robin kept them separate because they were very precious and she didn't want Christine to have anything to do with them oh, or watch no, them. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't let Truly touch them. Yeah, so that that's why. That's Robin's doing. No one else's. And just this picture. Every These gr I, I really want to know the lore behind these brown group family pictures Ugh. that Cody forces them to take every year. Because background Cody is horrible. Awful. Like and sheds and shit in the background like you couldn't turn and any he's other hold, angle he's holding Ariola he's got Solomon right next to him truly is there i guess next to him but like it's just he forces these family pictures it's mm -hmm. so performative and it's so yeah. look at this look at what i've done mm -hmm. look how irresponsible i've been he's front and center <sighs> that maniacal <sighs> face uh -huh. You're not crying. Spit it out. Today, Junior. I want it for me, too. Oh, you don't say. Oh, oh, you don't Shocking. I hate her so much. She just said, I had other choices. No, you didn't. Stop because bringing in that the up, book, Robin. Remember the timeline was like very tight, as a matter of fact. Oh, it was fact. tight? Yeah, it was definitely It was something tight. like five months or something after she had divorced, that she went to the dance and met uh, Cody and Mary. So when did all these proposals and she had other choices and, right, she and then remember, other like, people? Bullshit. There was like a, there was some episode where Leon said, yeah, I met Robin for the first time at a dance. The yeah. timeline here, the, something's not uh, mm -hmm. equal. She is, she's learned probably from her mom, just like Aurora. And yeah, there I said it. She's an adult. Aurora's a little whiny bitch. She learned the same thing that if she just like says things like this, she can get her like way. This with her fourth finger. <gasps> yeah, that they could be selfish because, like, oh, just because I'm crying, it means I'm emotional, it means I'm a good person. No. Uh uh. No. That's so selfish. That she could have oh. had other options. Oh, you could have. Thank you, Ugh. Amy. Tim is. I love the costumes. You put the best. Yes. Again, I want to reiterate. I can't reiterate enough. These are costumes. Yeah. You see people this coming in. Because yes. <laughs> now we have like almost 600 people oh, watching. I'm starting us. to get like a shine here too. Oh, oh. Yeah, my palms just came off orange. Gross. We are dressed as Mary and Robin. All right. Oh. This girl is kind of losing its uh juice. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and we got a picture of Robin and Cody's fucking wedding. Not on their wedding day. Because remember, she never took a picture with Cody on the wedding day alone in her dress. She would never. But then people pull up this photo. Right. And it's because they took photos another day. Sorry, I'm going to be blurry. Cody from picked another the dress, day. you know. Ugh. That was another bitch move. Again, her fault. She did that to herself. Her fault. Christine goes, when is the... He, and then Cody says on the chair, well... I feel like as the man, as the husband, shouldn't I be part of it? And like all the wives are like, when are the men ever involved in picking the dress? And they're and like Christine, the most traditional. Oh, right. And then Christine says, what did you didn't even give a damn what my dress looked like? And I felt that. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what she's saying. It seems petty, but it's not petty. He no. cared about Robin's dress. He didn't care. Janelle was wearing a green velvet dress. <laughs> at her wedding when she's cutting the cake like shot this. exclusively from someone who was like sitting underneath the table <laughs> shooting up at her chin yeah i think like logan said, logan took the picture <laughs> logan crawled out from her ovaries to get yes. his future mom that's and yeah that's how <laughs> that's how much he's taking care of this family this is, this is what i wanted I just, okay so then shut up about it if this is what you I'll, wanted I'll have to watch as they destroy what i wanted Oh, what about what Christine wanted? I just can't let it go. Kind of like Christine Whoa, can't she let went, go. Did you see how baker she went on that? Yeah. 
<laughs> it was like boom. kind of how like Christine can't let go of the fact that you are making out with Cody while truly was crowning. Yeah, she's like, where like are you? Centimeters? My yeah. water just broke. Mm, Hello, it's all Came about from. Robin. Poor Robin. <sighs> Guys, I would love up. to see somebody in the um. Oh, thank you, SJ. Please hit the like button. Yeah. We should probably be promoting ourselves more, but yeah, we're bad at this. We're really bad. <laughs> yeah, we're bad at this. Tip us, like us. Uh, we're subscribe. really good at costumes, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I devoted my day to, not oh. like trying to actually make money off of it. <laughs> but if you want to give this us money, do. Um, oh wait, 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 what was I? What was I about to say? Truly, mm. Robin, Robin, crowning, Sons. crowning, crowning. crowning. Yeah, that's it. All right. I'm sure I'll think of it. Back to Coyote Pass. Yeah. <laughs> Truth be told, Mary, she was talking about leaving Cody before. Cody oh, she's back. gossiping oh, now, I Jody. I always want her to be happy. I always want her to be happy. I will never say that the problem within our family is plural marriage. Well, why? Because it's kind of the obvious. It is, it is the absolute problem. <laughs> I would never do anything to this family to hurt it. Oh. Ah. Uh, Doth protest too but much? You did. But you did. Like, God. like, you incredibly did. You fucked up the family immediately. It's like going into a bank with a gun pulled and be like, I'm not going to hurt anyone. No one's getting hurt here. And I would never do anything. That people are like down on the ground and scared. God, what a! Bitch. I would never do any protesteth. Yes, Cindy Peterson protesteth too much. Yeah, too much. yeah, yeah. There, yeah, now, yeah. Okay, so here we have um, Linda K. Dixon says, "I hated this part. These two are just gossiping about Christine." Yeah, Jody, that's about that's. Pretty much is about to happen. Okay, okay, let's get, let's do this. Um, I mean, they're just gossiping about Christine, which I thought was against the sister wife. Yeah. Oh, Joy. Oh, they never talk about each other ever, ever, ever. Oh, thank you, Loco Vision. Oh, gosh, God, you're too amazing. nice to us. You're too good to us for the adorable oh, costume so holding, holding up in the second hour. Yeah, I know this this curl's kind of losing it, but other than that, we're <laughs> it's that curl. It's the curl. Yeah, it's what's so doing. <laughs> That's who I am. That's what I feel. I just wish that people could see that. I'll keep wishing. What I love about what you're doing is that you're not just making it about what's going on between you and him. <gasps> you're making it about everybody else, too. As much as wow. I would be devastated, I wouldn't blame Mary if she got tired of hanging on and she decided to give up then tell her that it's not just cody oh she won't tell that to her face she'll tell it to the cameras amanda but yeah, tell her that right there instead of saying yeah. Uh, yeah hang on i love what you're doing and then you tell the camera like well i wouldn't blame her if she left tell her that i wouldn't blame you if you left don't feel bad about leaving god what a monster oh she's a monster and she and just how manipulative Sammy. yeah i mean my, my mouse isn't working now yeah thank you sammy first time watching you ladies so glad i found you this has been great thank you so much for the tip it's oh that's like a fancy it. little pound dollar uh, are you an, sort are you of thing um fancy. it's so manipulative the way she, she are you seeing this oh She's like, i mean i really appreciate mary what you're doing because you're you know, you're, you're, you're thinking, you're considering everyone else around you, not just yourself. Christine watching this, I bet her, her fucking head exploded. I can't imagine. I, this goes into the whole thing where we have asked this a million times before. What does Cody think people are going to think watching him? Like he knows that people are going to see what he's saying in front of Christine and then behind her back. Like Robin's got to know that she's going back and forth on what she's saying, right? This is insane. No, she because she's stupid. All right. <laughs> she's leaving. No, no. I mean, we've only got a few kids married, and I've got a few grandbabies. I mean, what happens in the future? I don't know. You know, when I came to the family, I saw this like big 
group family team experience i wanted to play Ruin it. an important role in that but oh. yeah but you also again you missed the boat bye bye sorry that you didn't get to experience this when they no, did. she wanted to come in and take that. from it she wanted right. the same thing they had and be able to take from it but not have to exert any energy or effort or sacrifice anything for it she just wanted to be in it like okay i'm here but they've built something for the last 18 years together you're not going to walk in and be immediately just like them you're not that's selfish and that's ignorant Ugh. i was a single mom i had three kids yeah we fucking know for, robin again Good for like for five you. months which yes. again, that's tough. I'm not trying to discount that tough, at but all. Yeah, fine. And but you yeah, jumped are from fine. yeah, you jumped from that into another safety net, and they yeah. took you in and paid off your debt and put you in a house. It's not as if you were a single mom for 15 years and then walked into this family and they were like, "We love you," and they were like, "Oh, fuck you." I wouldn't no. even consider her a single mom. She was never a single mom. For it was a matter of months. In the book, that's what she said. It was a matter of months before they she met Cody Shira. and Mary. She was Shira. Good. Yeah, these uh, these are uh, th th they're this is a this is a Robin heavy episode, and they do not like her clearly. Ten on down. My divorce had really shook me. I kind of said to myself, you know, I don't really care so much about. The romantic part of a relationship i cared about whether or not he was a good husband a good man i cared so that's her gaslighting mary mm -hmm. and saying i didn't i personally didn't care about the romantic stuff as long as it's a good family no he just needs to be a good man a good man thank you to mel mitch <laughs> Give us a tip. And she says, your costumes are everything. Love the curls, Amanda. You have you could have gone a lot heavier on you the eyebrows. Build on the you don't know how much makeup is on here. Yeah, I know. In real life, I feel like it's not picking up on the... I should have gone with like a magic marker, I think. <laughs> no, because then it would have been stained on. Like forever. God. Again, this is like Robin going from... Christine's just leaving the family not thinking of us too. But when I did it, it was so much harder for me because oh, I was a single was mom. So bad. God. Like, she said it was abusive. I I believe her. Like I'm Cody's sure. Cody's abusive bad. too. Cody is abusive. Exactly. They're like, and if you're in this this system, the systemic mm -hmm. thing, like of, of course they're gonna be abusive. How is Cody yeah. any better than your ex-husband? <sighs> I don't know. They made it worse. All right. Uh, Amanda, next time you need to apply your brows with the back of an actual hatchet. Yes. Just... <laughs> right. About what I was going to give to my children. Like, that was my ultimate and biggest, most important thing. Cody used to say to me all the time, why do you have these emotions? When you know that it's right, that they're in the family. Why do you feel like this? I'm like, because I'm human. Yeah. Jealousy, I think, is a fact of life. But something that I've learned in more recent years is that jealousy is not a bad thing. Yes, it is, Mary. Like, why are you telling yourself this? Jealousy mm -hmm. is not good. It's well, not, no, it is bad. Uh, well, jealousy is also a natural emotion. Right. When someone doesn't care that you're jealous and when someone should be giving you something back in a marriage that you're still sticking out. But makes polygamy teaches women jealousy is something that you need to overcome. And also, and also, why doesn't Robin see that what she was just saying? I wanted my kids to see a good father and a good man. Well, Christine wants her kids to see a good father and a good yeah. man. And they're not seeing anyone. They're not seeing a father at all because he's at your house. And they're not seeing Great. a good man to their mother. Uh, Jody, hi. Uh, my mouse see. isn't working, so you yeah. need to control the chat. You got it. You got it. I'm going to do the best I can, guys. It's just an emotion, and you just work through the emotions. Yeah, I'm, always, I'm always trying to give him the other perspective. 
this. Like if someone else was in my life that you were having to share me with, you would be like a nutcase. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't like what? that. If I were to all this conversation pay oh. attention to another guy, how would it make you feel? This is a flashback to like season one, I want to say, yeah, right? Yeah, it was season one. Yep. And it's like Mary's anniversary. anniversary and they were at that upscale restaurant that uh -huh. uh, I got married at. And oh, Surviving Sister Wives did that episode with us. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah they chose yeah. this one. And Mary's hair looks so bad. Mm. She's got a little headband in. So sexy. Yeah, little oh, tiny headband. You with two husbands or another lover. Sickens me. I've had this conversation with Cody a lot of times. How oh, would have you feel you. if the tables were turned? And he's like, I don't want. I'm like, I'm sorry, but you need to think about this. I think that yes, if I didn't manage it right, I could be a nutcase. If the rule, I think if I didn't manage it right, I could be a nutcase. Says Cody. imagine what that would be like. I, am, oh, God, I can't even. I can't even put it in my oh, head. Oh, if Cody was a nutcase. Imagine. Oh. If Cody oh. couldn't handle it. Oh my God. God, he is so does he think he's handling it right? This is what I mean. Like, I don't know how he and Robin, what conversations they're having where they talk each other into thinking yeah. that they are the ones that are coming off. That's good. exactly what it is. They just feed off each other and like build each other up mm -hmm. in the toxicity. Toxicity? Oh, toxicity. Toxicity? We're toxicity. picking up on their on their <laughs> destiny. 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 Sister and I work together, and so I want to be a part of that. We reversed in our marriage, and I had a brother husband. But I think she's missing something. The way guys bond. We'd be playing video games, high-fiving each other, and she would wish we with Caleb. getting some work done. Oh, yeah, if it was a bunch of brother husbands, we'd be sitting around on the couch playing video games. I don't believe him because whenever it comes to like guys in his wife's lives, uh, like my ex, he gets funny. Funny. Oh, he gets funny. Funny. <laughs> funny. But uh, Robin, you don't know how bros are. We'll be playing video games and you know, just yeah, ra ra he's just like go in the garage. We just like wrestle and I'm like, oh, Caleb, I just love your balls. Put your balls in my face. He has asked every man in his life to just like get down and wrestle. I just want to remember what he smelled Caleb's hair when he oh. deeply inhaled and he was like, never forget. God, I'm going to miss you. Cody thinks that if Robin got married to another man, they'd play video they games. Just like bro out, man. Just broing out. Two bros. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Debbie, Debbie for the star. Tip. We love you. Guys, like we have a star in our midst. Go and follow Debbie, Debbie for you? real. Yeah, yeah. But I'm the view. The view? The view. The you view? said nothing and it was and cowardly. Was <laughs> and then you say, It is not poor, poor little Elizabeth. <laughs> We're a little obsessed with that. Big um, fat lesbian Rosie. <laughs> I love Rosie. Okay, don't come after me. I love um, Rosie too. TikTok, you know. Stuff. <laughs> and I love her new glasses. Okay, I'm not gonna go into it. Anyway, I, I um, yeah, let's, let's stop. What, what were right. we just saying? I totally forgot. Oh, no, Robin sucks. Robin, I got worst. the view, the split screen in my head. Now well, I now it's thinking about going. Rosie's glasses. All right, now let's just play this again. We're at exactly 23 minutes. If anyone's actually still watching this, See, I just think it's gonna mess, but like confuse and. Confuse the kids like crazy. It's gonna mess with the kids. Oh my God, the kids yeah. are fine. I mean, I asked her, you know, that day, and she's like, "Oh, they're all for it." And I don't know what that means. That means they're hearing one side of the story. <gasps> hey, Robin. I, I want to. I want to brush these fucking curls out right now. Yeah, so you. I'm not Robin anymore. Brush it out. Wait, did I just hear that correctly? Christine's kids the said story. they were all for it. 
I don't know what that means. It means they're side hearing side. one side of the story. Kind of yeah. like your kids were only hearing one side of the story of their abusive dad that they couldn't wait to go see that you choosing to go drive them up and they stayed with him for a month. This horrible, horrible man. What? Wow, they're only hearing one. Wow. And they're not, they're not wow. just hearing one side of the story. They, does Cody not You're realize that they lived it this? They watch this. They can see that he is that he loves Robin's family and Truly doesn't came love them. out of Christine's vaginal canal and saw Robin's lipstick on his face. Yep. They yep. have seen this. Yep. They're hearing it. They're hearing one side of the story, though, and whew, that is okay. So, so oh. little King Solomon and Ariola are smart enough that they can see and have feelings that they can't be away from Daddy for more than two days. Even though that's totally polygamous. valid, right? That's totally valid, but Christine's kids are just stupid and they're only seeing or hearing one side of the story. Like, has she forgotten that all the kids were seated around Cody and Christine was explaining to them, Robin's going to be part of the family now. And then they saw their lives implode before their very eyes. Who here likes Robin being a family? Into a mansion. Who here loves being a family? Well, son, we got to move. Um, I just want to say there is a listener, listener whose name is uh, Robin's Curls. Yes, thank you. For <laughs> yeah, no, this wasn't. A, this hey guys, wasn't guys, guys, we have some some important news. Truly, Truly is not going to be the youngest going to be in the family anymore. We have That's like a the kids better like, 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 don't worry about Truly. Oh my God, what a monster. Okay, now, and, uh, what was that question? Do we feel bad for Robin? No, like that was no, it. Yeah, no, I, that I, was no, the I'm last not, of yeah, ever no. feeling bad for her. She nope. said that. Um, One also, side Isabel, of the story. Cody, if I were Isabel, I would legit <gasps> not talk to him again because he has now skipped two things of hers. He skipped, I mean, you, you mean you'll see it here. They they move in this episode, and he just is like, "Bye." Full spinal surgery. Full. Well, he can't be away from the tender age kids, Jewel. He would have to be away for six to eight weeks. This isn't just about Isabel. This is about the whole big picture. Mm -hmm. Six to eight weeks, or you could just go for like a couple days and then take a test. Yeah, like that just existed at that point in time. <sighs> Nobody has asked me my side of the story. The only people that have gotten my side of the story are Robin and Marianne. Oh, Meaning that I've, I've, been able, I've been able to scream into Mary and Robin's faces. Uh-huh. Yeah. Janelle didn't say like, oh, yeah, I think it's about to rain. I'm going to go. <laughs> Robin has her rainbow uh, uh -huh. umbrella. She's like, I don't oh, know. It's my... just, uh, can you Janelle, shave my yeah. shirt and leave? Yeah. Oh, There's more stuff in the God. shirt. And maybe Janelle. To be honest, Baby I, Janelle. I Baby Janelle. Kids, who knows and who doesn't know that I'm leaving Cody? I know who knows out of my kids. But if they're so concerned about why am I leaving and what about being a sister wife, why wouldn't they talk to me personally? The only one who reached out to me was Janelle. Do you think this was coming before Flagstaff? <laughs> uh, hey, Mary, have you seen the fucking show? <laughs> yeah, um... Have you seen season one, episode one, the pilot? Yeah, remember when when Christine went on that vacation with Nancy, the family yeah. therapist, and, and they she built stack rocks? rocks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck! Oh my god! Scout like, uh, scout These, like attacking yeah, somebody. I don't know what the hell is going on. Jesus, no, sorry, sure there's, guys. There's no one else in your house that can help out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a Christine moment here. Yeah. <laughs> Can someone help me, please? Paul, please. Truth be told, Mary. Truth. She was talking about leaving Cody before I moved to Blackstaff. <gasps> what she a really bitch! Thought, she thought that was going to be such a fucking mic, mic drop. Sister wife code. She's Jody. just being, I, I, I'm sorry, she's just being nasty here. The way she's she said that was so gossipy. Yeah. Really, Mary? Actually? 
truth be told, Mary Cody. Yeah, which again, Robin, goes to show that uh, she's been unhappy for a very long time. There have been issues yeah. for a very long time that she has been trying to work on. And she has been extremely patient. God. Yeah. Yeah. And yet Cody is surprised. Exactly. Yep. If even freaking Robin knows. Oops. I've always wanted her to be happy. I've always wanted her to be happy. Shut the sure. fuck up, Robin. As long as you're happier. She just hasn't seemed happy for a really long time. Yeah. So what's what's the problem? Does a family go dysfunctional for years? Long? Okay, so <laughs> you just sucks exactly. Do you do you know what sentence you just said? It's been dysfunctional for years before Robin even got here, which was 10, 15 years ago. So it's not a surprise. So it's been. We worked as a family, a though dysfunctional. That's an oxymoron. You didn't work. It was dysfunctional. Oh, sure. Yeah, it wasn't working. Well, it was working for him. It was working for him. Right. God. Before Robin was here, struggling through these relationships, but we were making it work for the sake of the kids. No, they were the making it work. Yeah. Have these children have a really quality experience with what. Well, you failed because all of your kids hate you and don't talk to you. Right. And so the, wives, job on that. the wives made it work for the kids. They yeah. made it work for the kids. They provided experiences. Cody did nothing. And Robin didn't provide experiences. She never had the kids over. Oh, remember when she had the kids over and she was like, oh, hey, guys, that, that, that's a meal. Not that's a not meal. a snack. <laughs> you need to put some of that back. Why do we know all these quotes so much? What the hell? God. Oh, hey, Erica is exactly here. Exactly it. Hi, Erica. Check out um, Surreality Podcast. She's great. Yeah. All right. God. I just want to double down on this one. Yeah, they're upset they don't have their punching bag anymore. They can't blame anything on Christine mm -hmm. anymore. Well, they still will. <sighs> they will for the rest of their lives. Oh, oh it's all her fault. She ruined them. When Christine left. Yep. I refuse to let whatever's left just go to pieces. I mean, hell, if she wanted to, like, build, stay here and build on the property and date, I would have no problem with that. Oh, do you want to give? Do you want to give your own money toward paying off the property and building? Because that seems to have been the problem. Yeah, yep. how would that even work? So if she wanted to divorce him, I'm okay if she divorces him, but she has to stay here and date people here and raise yeah. the kids here. I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with that. Okay, so Robin, why didn't you stay in your ex's hometown in Montana or whatever and just Robin date and want, build Robin, something there? The only thing on her and Cody's mind is Christine's money shit mm. like what are we gonna do we've lost that's a whole person's income that they've lost that is yeah. all they're thinking about they do not give a shit about christine that's what i wish god someone would say to her like okay so robin should have stayed in montana for the kids for the family i would have no problem with that i would 100 percent be okay with that why would i date anybody in flagstaff no i'm not going to stay <laughs> here it's weird that you would be living on coyote pass in reality yeah. i think running off to utah literally to be around her family find a new husband oh okay. uh, like robin did yeah that's exactly what she's doing has she made that a secret she wants to be around her kids find a better man than you be around her Bye. kids around yes. her mom and maybe Happy? she can date again yes. kind of like robin did when Robin moved back to Utah like and Robin started dating and Robin found a new husband. Huh. It's totally cool when Robin does it, finds a husband right away to take all her money. Stick around. We could, we could make her feel like shit. Oh, you know, I'm not at that place right now. Well, <laughs> sorry. Oh, you're I not? That place sorry. Because of you. I've been in the same situation with Cody in the past. I was in a oh, bad situation. No, no. 
<laughs> Here's we got the scene of her and her Hobby Lobby. Uh, I know. I'm like, where's my uh, Hobby Lobby apothecary cabinet? typing away okay hold on a second here hold on this is not the same thing mary was not in the same situation with cody because two different things she already had someone granted they were a catfish but she already had someone that she was going to be jumping to oh yeah and cody kind of left her ass this is different because christina has decided i'm leaving your ass this is not the same thing oh yeah oh cody this was Cody was never happier than when the catfish thing happened. It's like, thank God this is an excuse. This is an excuse. Oh, and now we leave. can keep using it as an and excuse. And just the guilt, the guilt trip, the guilt trip, mm -hmm. the guilt trip. And Robin just doesn't want Christina to move away because then Cody would have to pay for child support. That's what she's worried about, too, is the whole child support thing. Oh, for sure. Mm hmm Because it wasn't a person. And they got really, really <laughs> and so funny. She's a comedian. She and Cody. I tell you, they got a lot in common. Oh my God. Because I knew what I needed from Cody and I wasn't getting it. He was like very, very, very distant with me and our relationship. I asked him to just not stay there for a little bit. I said, can we just get through some of this stuff? Can we just take a break? He has interpreted that as I kicked him out and he's never come back. Is I'm there like a murder like, or something? No, what's <laughs> going on is my neighbor, they have a dog and then their son-in-law comes and he, the their dog is like an FBI bomb sniffing dog. And the only one who okay. can like feed him or play with him is like the owner so she sees like two people out there and she goes nuts and two dogs and whatever. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, uh, anyway, uh, these Erica, bitches over here. Eric asked uh, a couple seconds ago. Yeah, how uh, long between Robin's divorce and her with Cody? It was a matter of months. It was not even a year. Oh, she, you're getting the curling iron back. I got it. Oh, I got let's it. see this technique. I got it heated up. Yeah. All the way down oh, to the end. Yeah, all the way in. All the way down. Carefully don't bring your forehead. Toy. Yeah, Toy. Carefully don't bring your forehead. Yeah. They were yeah, married. They were married within five months, I think. Or like they were together with less than a year for sure. Yeah, I'm pretty she sure was it was never like five months. Mom. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that she's uh what's her face? Robin is like, oh yeah, well, we could work something out if she stayed here. She doesn't want to work anything out with you. She doesn't owe you guys anything. You have given her nothing. Our bestie, Justine, says, has the Mary Catfish ever done any podcasts or interviews? Uh, what's her name? Oh, God, I just had it on the tip of my tongue. I'm sure you guys know. Um, uh, Jackie oh. Overton. J Jackie Thank Overton. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. This is the things that I retain in my head. There was like a there, self look at, that. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Look at that curl. There's like a self-published <laughs> book. And I'm There's a book. sure their website, their blog is still up there. <laughs> It's but, like uh, not I mean, quite Spider Man or not quite Batman or something. Superman. Superman. Batman. Batman? Superman? Is it Superman? Doesn't matter. One of those superheroes. Uh, yeah, uh, she's, I mean, she's like fucking nuts. So, like, you know, take whatever that is with a grain of salt. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Mary looks rough here. To try to find happiness. And you're just so unhappy. It just doesn't work. You know, I can't blame her for wanting that. Yeah, Mary's in the same place. Yeah. I do. Mary, so why do can't Mary? Wives of a man going through a divorce. I've never struggled with Cody in my marriage as bad as I am right now. Oh, poor you. <laughs> I wonder if anyone else has it so hard right now. I'm at a loss. God, in the in the on the couch, you can Oof. tell that she's like America. Cody, America's gonna feel so sorry for me. Mm -hmm. Like she really thinks she's doing something there. Yeah. Thank I you. Yes, I before. I hate the curls, but yeah, look look at that curl. Look at that. <laughs> oh God, dress up as Cody. I will find. I have a side by side photo of me with like a 
man bun on the top of my head and Whoa. the resemblance is chilling. Next I'll year, find, let's go. Let's it. go as, well, as, we could go as Janelle and Christine, but I feel like I feel like I do like, a disservice to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I don't think e either of like us them. can achieve the glow that the Christine glow, has. The happiness. <laughs> either of them have the jolliness. Oh. Uh, yeah, the pomegranate teeny. Thank oh, sorry, you for sorry. your tip. Uh, next time you both. Yeah. Okay. You, you already. Um, sorry. The fact that that Robin is saying this to Mary's face and not picking up on the cues that Mary can't even speak. It, it's where she's like, uh huh. Yeah, she is unhappy. Yeah, I've been there too. Are you not seeing this? Pick up on a clue, Robin. Yeah, God. Jesus. A monster. I will never say that the problem with our family is plural marriage. I believe that each and every one of us has the capacity for greatness and has a capacity to work through this stuff. Yeah, but can't working so through it be deciding to leave? Surviving it. <laughs> because we live in a society that is telling us that half of us make the wrong choice with our divorce rate, we have to assume that, you know, it's half chance. Hmm? Jody, whoops, sorry. Sorry. I'm at 2750, but get ready for a whole bunch of talking heads of this fucking. Oh, bag. the newly married man. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> God, he is so horny. God, why is he so horny when he's around <laughs> men? I, he gets I'm not so that horny when I'm around women. Long time. I'm no. not that horny when I'm around men. I'm not that horny when I'm like having sex. <laughs> 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 Driving no, in mean, a truck with this guy. The the inner glow. I mean, he like his posture. He's sitting up straight. He does this he, too. Rosy does cheeks. Oh, like, hey, here we are, Cody Bryant driving up to, to Utah. Oh my God! You know he puts on a yeah a, a Creed or whatever, and then he's like, <laughs> he does this. Pomegranate. He just wrote, he is gay. <laughs> Being gay isn't funny, but Cody, it's definitely gay. <laughs> like, what's, I mean, don't what protest uh, too much. Or yeah, <laughs> protest. <laughs> God, he loves bro time. Right, selling selling illegal guns. Yeah, we know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, sportsman show. It's weird. What do you think mm. they're selling? Okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, fishing poles. <sighs> Yeah, like lacrosse gear. Yeah. Football helmets. You know. Brian got married for the first time, and I officiated the wedding. Brian, how's, how's, how's marriage? So marriage is good. Still surviving it. They are both <laughs> mugging to that camera, and it makes me oh. sick. I know how, like, you guys. Have you all watched this scene? It's gross. Dude, Brian looks it's like a thumb. Gross. Oh. Ew. It looks like a oh. big toe. Ugh. They're and both looking at look, the camera. Just look, at, look at this. That's right. Yeah, the joy on his face. <laughs> Brian, tell us what you think about marriage. Oh my God. How crazy is it? Women are crazy, right? The speech I gave women. Yeah. Yeah. Speech. Remember when I officiated your wedding? Remember that? When I, and then I danced? I got the whole crowd going. What was it? And now I don't see you, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Bob yeah. Vance. Ladies Thanks and gentlemen, for the first time, <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Bob Vance. I think everyone's made that joke. I, I think every single sister wife's a podcast has made that joke. It absolutely was that. Yeah. Was it? Before his time. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. God. <laughs> Two funny sister beards. This is, that's great. <laughs> Cody is so freaking excited he's like oh my god i'm with the man oh, oh katie Peter's thank you you two queens oh. watching you guys Ooh. you're gonna make my hair flip some more careful oh, no. well, judy just get out your get out your naranjo naranja i am orange perfect <laughs> oh, 
okay. <laughs> That's Espanol, Amanda. Oh, I'm, I'm Canadian. I'm, I only know French. <laughs> okay, I'm share with Brian basically sort of the inner demon I was dealing with when I came to marry him and Judith. So, Does that mean his dick? Does that mean his <laughs> No, I think it means Christine. Oh, Brian. Oh, I, I thought he meant know. like this. Bitch, wife of mine. He shared his sure inner demon, if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's Brian's butthole. <laughs> 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 Listen, I just have to ask you, are you sure you're doing this? Are you sure you're doing the right thing? Oh my god, yes, he got married <laughs> enough. <laughs> Brian? <laughs> He's looking straight into the camera. I, I just, he's, he's so just aware of the like, <laughs> He's like, where do I, can I, should I just. Like, talking about this wedding, he's just, huh? He's like, uh-huh. Yeah, no, I know. It's crazy, Cody. Just like, he doesn't know what to do. He never would have asked Cody to do this if he knew he was going to talk about it this much. Cody, meanwhile, is driving and he's like, Brian, I asked Brian here. Are you sure you want to do this, brother? As he's like driving. <laughs> Fucking loser. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm in my worst place when it comes to marriage and my view of, of relationships. I admit that it's a dark place. I admit that it wasn't a fair place for me to be because not all relationships are like this. But I was carrying that burden oh, to hey. Oklahoma with me. Oh my god. Kind of, uh, He's on the couch? Yes! He gets a couch three time. couch oh, interviews. Yes. Okay, I'm personally <laughs> offended. You and I deserve we to have that couch interview. Or fucking Brian. But I told you, it's like, what the hell? Why is Brian he like has a fucking character? facial moles? Oh, come on. This is offensive. This is offensive. Couch time. <sighs> Uh, I, mean, I mean, I knew the car, but on the couch. Linda K says Brian looks like a hostage. It, oh. it is because he's he's like, huh, where do I, where do I look? Who do you want me? What, what camera am I? What camera am I looking at? Like we don't care about you, Brian. Oh. Why do we need your fucking opinion on this? Last second for him to say, are you sure you want to do this? We're here. Everyone's here. Okay, it wasn't We're funny doing... the first episode. Now we got to hear it again. Feeling, of course. And Robin's like. You better just shut up. If you want to be in Brian's and Judah's life, don't you go in there going, are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the he, stage, Andrew he, Dice Clay. He's Hello. a jokester, Cody. God, who's his opening act? Because he and Karen <laughs> Top, I gotta take it on the road. These two. A real Joe Pesci over here. I oh. he's, he's laughing his ass off here. And then Brian. Look at Brian in the camera. Brian's he's still so like, proud of uh, can I look straight to the camera, please? <laughs> <laughs> what is this oh. story? Oh, and I called I called Robin, of course, you know, because of I mean, course I do. Is he just gonna reach over and take Brian's hair and place it on his penis? <laughs> yes. On his, on like what is going on? Weird? <laughs> Oh, oh, this isn't, oh, I feel like this is going to turn into like a really scary gay porn or something. <gasps> oh, I think it was just once. Just once. You know, if I was doing what I wanted to do um, and, and that he cared enough to ask, we were good to go and, and we did, you know, everything went as planned. Yeah, we I know. Mean, we I, I, brought her, I brought her all the way from the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sorry, but we're all thinking it. This woman is oh way too God. hot and young. This, this I can't believe we have to hear about Brian and Judith's wedding. Jesus, like, again. Remember what Judith looked like? She fell in love with this guy. Come oh. on. Now. She holds his moly, moly moles in his in her hands. His ladybugs. Oh, don't worry about that. Those, those are just my ladybugs. Oh, Does gross. anyone know that reference? Ew. Ew. <laughs> okay. Oh. investment a human can make, I believe. Because we live in a society that is telling us that half of us make the wrong choice with our divorce rate, then we have to assume that, you know, it's half chance. Oh, oh hold, hold on, hold on. This is... 
this is kind of like when Cody explains, um, this is something called math, you guys. So like when you buy a house, you want to buy it down here. No, up here, I think. No, when it's you buy here. down here and then oh, when the market goes up here, up here, okay. you want to sell. But what but soon it'll and go down here. here. So you want to sell up here before it goes down here. It's weird, it's so it might go the like camera. this. It might go like this. <laughs> but that's why you want to make sure you stay up there. I love if you guys ever rewatch Sister Wives, which I mean, why wouldn't you? Because that's literally all I do with my time. But whenever Cody has like a board out and is writing down jot notes, please do yourself a favor and pause the screen and just look at the notes he's written because they're insane. Mm -hmm. Like they're they're just insane. Because he's dumb. Because he's stupid. Because he's stupid. <laughs> Half of more marriages end in divorce. That means uh, fifty percent of the time. Uh, God, when you're telling us that fifty percent. Also, isn't it more than fifty percent? Almost positive. Well, at it is. least half a man. But I mean, uh, at least. I think but we should probably trust tall. trust Cody on trust this. Cody, he is a man. Because when the because when you sell, you do it here. You again buy down here. And then when it goes up here, you go, sell. oh, do I want to sell? <laughs> I hope you and guys then, all get that buy-sell reference because you look for any new, new viewers. When he's trying to sell the wives on moving to Flagstaff, he gets a, a line graph. Thank you, Debbie. You're so sweet. A line yeah, graph going in and explains to them how the market works with lines. Yeah. And talks to them as if they're Market's the here. dumbest pieces of shit ever. No God. <laughs> And yet, and yet, one of them is still living in, uh, granted though, a beautiful RV. I'm not going to diss Janelle's RV because it is beautiful. I could easily live in that RV. Just it's nicer than my house, day. of course. Yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, okay, so it's going to get real hot and horny. It's going to get X-rated, I think. Here we go. Ryan in the car with it. What are we coming up? We're coming up on three hours. Good, we did it. Did we? Uh, <laughs> oh, we're only at 30 minutes and 17 seconds. And Cody. I think someone could have like Ryan. conceived and birthed a baby in this time that we've had this <laughs> <laughs> Cody, how's it going? I, I am happy. Uh, I'm happy to be married uh, to a couple women. Yes. <laughs> Cody, look at Cody's oh, hand right now. Cody's hand is sitting there like this, like just ready to go in. And like, he is like, ready to go all the way down. <laughs> like, he's, he's ready to go downtown with his friend there. Whoa. Oh my God. I, I should be horror, but I, I, can't, I can't figure this mess out. But I should perpetuate it on you. Robin got me straight. We oh. got you married. You're happily married. And I'm very glad. That's true. I just keep telling myself I'm straight. I'm straight. I just keep telling straight. myself I'm straight. Straight is the main word. Embarrassed about where I was when I went to that wedding. Him officiating this wedding really seems to be a big deal for him. <gasps> yeah, this really affected his freaking life. Like he knows it's not oh, the state of the union. Like, you weren't invited to the state of the <laughs> union. <right? laughs> it was Brian and Judith's wedding. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure Judas' son was wearing like gym shoes and a pair of jeans. Yeah, right. fine. And then Cody, I mean, as they're standing on the stage, Cody's Ooh. like, ha ha, welcome everyone. And then he turns to Judith and he goes, are you nervous? Or you should be. I am. Because you know what's making me nervous? Brian's dick! Like he I mean, this is insane. And you guys know me. I am a total prude, but like I'm really getting uncomfortable. We're really opening up here. <laughs> Cody, Cody brings it out in you. Ooh. Being near the kiss because you're Mary. Listen, Linda. Oh, Mary. Yeah, you're when she Mary's broke that listen, Linda down. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. and that's I'm why I'm just letting it all go. You guys are so sweet. Thank you, SJ. Thank you, Petey. I'm like, do you now, some of this is my natural flush coming out under the orange. I don't know if you right. can notice or not. I put a lot of, like, white on, but uh, mm -hmm. I can't wait to get his eyebrows off. Do not okay. understand how Okay, quickly all right, let's go. Let's go. We got some more uh, home home videos from the 1950s, apparently. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Shock, these are in color. <laughs> and I remember, you know, when all of his wife 
wives lived in the same house and all the kids were sharing bedrooms together. You know, and I admired that family. Okay, why do we have to have right, Janelle and, and bending at the poverty. waist and not the <laughs> knees? It was just like a shot of Janelle just bending over from the background. Jesus. Christine, uh, Kay, please add Rolling Banner. Everything is a legend Ooh. and in our opinion. You were both really funny. We don't want you to get, get sued. Chad oh, yeah. Like Everything. Too. Alleged. Oh, I mean, listen, there are more. We're so. If it's a. Okay, Scout. Like the, it, I'm going to kill her. <laughs> for you. <laughs> um, oh, I don't know if that's a reference to the gay stuff. I mean, listen. Like we always say. And oh, no. Gay is I, like I know. So I far beyond. Like way more evolved than any of us. Um where are we here? I just got lost my train of thought here. Yeah, sorry, my mouse just is not working, so you need to control these. <sighs> uh, but thank you, everyone who's leaving super stickers and stuff. That's awesome. yeah, you guys are so sweet. Okay, so uh, Brian here. There's Brian. <laughs> Does Brian have like Cody's dick to his head? <laughs> like, say it. So you sit on that. Why, why is Brian <laughs> getting? Tony has had less talking heads this season than Brian. That's a crime. That is a crime. Tris Lecher's yeah. cake. Cody, and, it's great. <laughs> and I feel for Christine, you know, because I consider Christine my friend too. I mean, I've known her as long as I've known Cody. Oh, I'm sure Christine is really worried about <laughs> missing <laughs> you as a friend. Yeah. Oh, Brian. Yeah, Christine's really bummed out about missing Brian and Judith's wedding. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> uh, and you just wish you could fix it. Um, you know, would love for both of them to be happy again and you know and for me i remember when they were so it's it's really hard to see them in this in this place okay thanks for that bye bye so today i sold my bed like cody and i were talking about how to separate furniture and everything and like i told him i was going to sell the bedroom set and I just didn't want to take it with me, you know? I didn't want to take it with me. I just want to start all over with the bedroom set. I was really hurt when Christine told me she was selling the bedroom set. But oh, you didn't want to get over it. it. You baby. Oh. The trees. God, Everyone can wants you imagine the being the person who purchased that bed and now you're watching this and you're like, oh, ew. Oh. This guy slept in that bed? Oh, oh what's, what's this big blonde ramen noodle in the bed here? Gross. <laughs> Why did I find this? Ew. Because you know he was like working those poles and stuff. Don't you think the he would like do a little twirl? No, because I don't think they had sex in Flagstaff at all. <sighs> yeah, but I think she had that bed in Vegas. I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah. Remember, remember when that. him and Janelle bought a new bedroom set and it was like um he's like me and janelle are buying a new bedroom set and it's gonna be our birthday christmas anniversary and next birthday and christmas presents to each other for the and next honeymoon hmm. yeah and honeymoon yeah the trees have always been you. kind of depressing Trace. oh thank you monica thank you monica join, join us all here oh my god Right. Now he's just gonna like he gave a crap about the furniture. What a joke! Oh, Get over no, yourself. I crap of that. Well, King <sighs> the castle, King God, go wrestle with Brian. <laughs> One more thing uh, this awareness. I mean, I've still been in this place last night as I was laying in bed. I just thought, you know, this is the last night I'm gonna be in this bed. Gosh, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I took up all of the room in the bed and I just laid there for a while and I just reflected and let myself remember good times Oof. in this bed and hard times in this bed and giving birth or the just, lack of hard times yeah. ew okay I could have done with that she just said and giving birth to my babies in this bed so this, no this has been with them this whole time they probably you know what when they got the new bedroom set they probably just kept the mattress and Probably, the, and then just got a new bedroom set. That's well. Awesome. She deserves a new mattress because she had truly in the hospital. So that means that mattress is like at least what, like 20, 15, 20 years old. Oof. Okay, so I'm dressed as Robin. So speaking of 
Um, I mean, it would be a crime to not do a uh, impression. Mm. <laughs> oh ah. Mmm, Cody. Mm, yeah, yeah. You like that? Yeah, right here, right here, right here. <laughs> you need to preface every tell everyone what that was. <gasps> no, I know. I think everyone can figure it out. <laughs> this is Robin actually getting bored? Right here. This is where you go. Oh. Oh. That is disgusting. I don't care. I have given birth naturally, not by choice, the epidural didn't take one of the times. <laughs> and I would have been conscious enough to not make that sound if there were cameras in the room. I don't care. Uh, oh, Elizabeth no. McMurray gave us a tip. The watch along is our new Sunday tradition. Happy Halloween. Thank Ooh, you. All. We're like the spookiest. We're the scariest. Ah. <laughs> we are pretty scary. Mm. Oh, I mean, it legitimately sounds like my kids are in the other room. I'm sure they're probably like traumatized right. for life, wondering what I'm uh, doing in here. Oof. Can you unclick what on that? I dog? can't. For real? <laughs> for real? Wait, no way. Yeah, what's wrong with your freaking dog? <clears throat> Amanda Simconis. Do I know you? I feel like I know this <gasps> name. Did I go to oh. college with you? Did you go to ASU with me? If they do not bring up the multiple parallels between Robin divorcing her husband and Christine divorcing Cody, I will be livid. Oh, we did. Don't worry. Don't you worry, Amanda. Well, but on but on the show. Oh. I mean, if uh, they better do a tell all you guys, we better get like a hard hitting Suki. Suki. No, but a lot of people are saying they should, and I agree with this for the patriarchy. Uh, okay. They should have a man uh, with Cody. Maybe have suki with the women but i think cody needs a man because he respects men he doesn't respect women and i think he, he might can't, there can't be a man behavior. that's gonna be like andy cohen willing to bro it up with him oh, andy cohen i, I think would be good andy cohen can be a sassy little bitch uh, but andy cohen can also be like hey when'd you get your new boobs done where you're like uh are we allowed <laughs> to say this right now i don't know about that yeah Thank but you, i think Martini. But I think Andy could really go after him. All right, here we go. We are 32 minutes and 31 mm. seconds. To my babies in this bed. Ooh. Don't like that. It was bittersweet. That was, it was harder than I thought it would be last night. I feel so pathetic because I'm the divorce denier. And she's like, she is just clearing the slate, man. She is out of here. There's a an emotion I'm sensing from her of this wahoo, you know, like I'm out of here. And, and it's uh, made me a little crazy. I don't want to carry anything that could bring up painful memories with Cody in my next house. Because him being in my space when we lived in my bedroom together it was toxic. Yeah, look, look at the, this. Look at this is picture. big. That's big. What she just yeah. said. Wow. But also, uh, I saw that uh, Amanda record said, "I need you guys to retire the uh, Robin porn noises." I know we Never. we're we're over we're over, doing overkill on it, but no, it, it's just it lives in my head so much rent free. So I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> this picture again. Here's another horrible picture of everyone except Cody looks good in it. Mm -hmm. These are the pictures that he submits. God. Yeah. What Agree. We love Pop Psych. He's great. Oh, he's love awesome. Everyone Pop Psych. Yeah. Yeah. He's really good. Yeah, I watch those every, every like Sunday night when he mm -hmm. posts them. I'm not taking the toxic with me. It's, it's absolutely weird, but I'm ready. I'm done. Good for yeah. you. Crazy She's crazy. such in a healthy place. I love this for her. Mm -hmm. The best years of my life I gave to him. And He oh. shrugged his shoulders at me. <gasps> yep. It's hard because I'm not young anymore. Ooh, look at that picture of Christine. 
She's so polygamist right there. Well, she's just so red faced. Yeah, she had some sun. Um, but yeah, I don't want her to think it. that. But I get why she's saying that. Like she feels like it's her best years where she's having kids. It is her best family, years, though. and it's it's but the she's hardest, never looked better. But it's such a, a, a sweet and tender time. And he fucking yeah. took that from her, man. He did it, give it's her gonna the get kids. better for her, right? You guys, of those of you who have gotten, you know. A, a new start it's gonna get better for her right yeah I'm she's gonna think that was the best years but it's yeah, gonna be right. even better she, she did have kids with him at least like she got the kids yeah yeah I oh mean, she like, definitely like, got the happened kids. to be one of them but other than that <laughs> yeah, no, no, she I, didn't I, have I actually you might be careful you might a stick four thousand street tacos Best years of my life too. Oh no, you didn't. Make me own it. I mean, starting a new relationship before then. Why don't you just own something though? Yeah, own anything. I could have been a better husband. It's hard to be a good husband when you have four wives. Just say that. It's difficult. I'm sure I could have been a better husband to each of my wives, but it's hard when you have four. That's the very least he could have said. Yeah, no, I she took it really 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 really. Fuck off, dude. Christine she is owning stuff. Christine has owned stuff this whole time. Like, yeah, I could have been a better wife. I shouldn't have complained so much. And Cody refuses to say one thing. No, won't take ownership to anything. Nope. And that, I bet you, is, is what she worked on with her therapist. Like, oh yeah, you have to be okay with him not owning anything because he won't. That was the biggest thing for me when I left my bacon fingers uh boyfriend um it was just being like okay no i don't i you want an explanation so bad but you're not gonna get one that's a truth so you just have to accept it, it sucks yeah you just can't make sense of it yeah yeah i hope that i can find love again i hope that i can be in a relationship with someone who loves me hold on are they playing paca bell in the back I don't know, no. but what I do know is that I would rather be alone and love myself than to be with someone who doesn't love me. Hmm. Are you sure that was not Papa Bell? Yeah, I'm sure. It was, it it was kind of close, but it wasn't. Okay. Uh, Amanda says, it's not like I'll stop listening or watching, though. Yeah, but we're sorry. We can't help it sometimes. We we kind of get off on the Robin voices. Uh, what else? What else here? I like this one. Everyone's saying no Andy Cohen and Sister Wives. I agree. I agree. I think it's a perfect crossover. I think he could, I think he could own Cody because Cody wouldn't know what to do with him because Andy is like such an alpha, but he's also gay, which Cody I'm sure is like horrified by, but he has to pretend like he's okay with it because he has two Andy children doesn't, that are open no, gay. You gotta know sister wives in and out and sideways to be able to do a tell all. And Andy doesn't know it that well. Andy doesn't even run all the shows, the sister wives or sister wives, real house. Yeah, us to do it. it. I mean, Cody would be destroyed. If it was oh, <laughs> oh my God. He'd be crying like a little. I would just physically hurt him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because we love that. The amount of quotes we could pull up constantly. Oh, I just pull out my thing. She was leaving my ass. Yeah, you remember that? <laughs> Oh, please. Robin would walk on stage and we'd just be going, wow, wow. 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 Oh, hi, Robin. How you feeling today? How are your tender age? Kids? Oh, you did. Oh. oh, you did. My kids don't have a great relationship with their dad. All right, we are at 34.42. Justine just said, what about Dr. Drew? What do you think of that? 
Uh, you know what? I don't trust Dr. Drew. Dr. Drew would sympathize with Cody. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Dr. Drew sucks. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. I like this one for sure. Yes, Corey from Surviving Sister Rides would be great. Yeah, or Ace from the other Sister Rides podcast. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think they both hate him too much to be. I don't know. Who would be? God, who would be? It has to be a man, though. I, I just do not. Oprah? Do you mm. think Cody respects Oprah? I think Cody would try to mimic Oprah's mannerisms. Oh, he would try to be like, like yeah. Um, what about, let's go like a Lester Holt, a Josh Mankiewicz. Like, oh, let's go like a date, babe. like a new, excuse me, babe. Oh, uh, okay. What about like a Stone Phillips? Oh, Dr. Phil. <gasps> Dr. Phil is a huge asshole. I didn't that just might fall work. off a turnip truck. Yeah. That might and work. Chris Hansen. We got oh, the disgrace Chris Hansen. That would be good too. Yeah, sucks spit, Dr. Drew. RuPaul, <sighs> Erica says. Ooh. That would be that would be good. If RuPaul knew the references, Cody wouldn't even know what to do with that. Although Cody would be dazzled. He would be. He's like, am I allowed to bro out? Because I can't tell. Because RuPaul. Yes, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie could do it. There we go. <laughs> okay. Yes. Read some filth. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I, would be, I would be way too angry. I, I would just lose yeah, my mind. Like, he'd walk in and we would just both be like, Are we Oh, oh, like look ready. at you walking with your shoes. <laughs> I mean, ultimate bitch eating crackers. Yes. Face and pretends to be more excited than she actually is. Yeah. It's the moving day right now, and I'm packing all of my stuff up into my car. And mom's God, her kids are gorgeous. For 10 days while I just took a lift. And we're moving, and it's my last day here in Flagstaff. I'm excited. I'm I'm sad to be leaving. Flagstaff. What is she wearing? Dad, it's I'm terrible. Just, I'm really sad to be leaving Dad. I think I'm more sad than anything. This is just Izzy brushing Truly's hair for the last time in this suit. Just today, I think, might be just a hard day. I'm going to miss her, of course, but, like, we can chat over the phone. And it'll still be okay between God, us. God, Truly is McKelty, 2AT. But like we're really close, and it's it's not gonna be the same having one room empty. Uh, we have quite a bit of stuff. We do. I don't know how we're gonna do this, but I'm gonna miss her so much. I'm so glad we get Is one. Is a portable AC together. unit? Oof. I live with Maddie and Caleb, and they're two babies, Axel and Evie, and I'm really really excited. Maddie and Caleb are really really incredible people and i think it'll be nice from going where my dad and mom didn't have that great a relationship to somebody who has an incredible relationship isabel's gonna go live with a couple who is monogamous caleb's home all the time he's only focused on maddie and those babies her parents relationship hasn't been good for many years so i think it could be healing i think it could be good Hmm. I'm pretty sure that we weren't exposing our marriage difficulties to the kids in Las Vegas. <sighs> okay. Okay. Kids are smart, Cody. They just had to see the difference. That's it. And the reason They're that truly dumb. didn't see it is because you never were. She a didn't know any different. Right. Whereas so Isabel and Gwendolyn saw the difference before Robin came in. Mm hmm. He's yeah, such an idiot. This just goes to show like he that how little he knows about his kids. That they're all like, yeah, we know. We've seen it. <laughs> and er Erica earlier said Rosie O'Donnell should be the host. God, that'd be great too. It was cowardly. Oh, he wouldn't be able to keep up for sure. He no, he he would I mean he would call her like he would call her the D oh, word. Oh like real quick. Oh, yeah. oh there's so Latrice. Right now, that'd be great. <laughs> oh, Bruce Latrice. She just left. But long before COVID, I was hearing that she was talking about leaving me. I'll help you with everything. Can't yeah. get over that, can he? Notice that he's not lifting, putting anything in the car. He's just walking around. No, go ahead and let Isabel, who just had full yeah. spinal surgery. She's, she's loading up the it. trunk. Yeah. And he's just walking around, grabbing his 
stupid selfie stick. Yeah, he put in he, like a, a roll of toilet paper. Mary is like, very choppy here. She's got a big old oh, flip she's one here. All over, yeah. Okay, here we go. Listen, Linda. Super exciting, and I'm sure it's going to be very rewarding. Isabel's always been this breath of fresh air. Or whenever she comes in the house, she's always been very sweet to me. And she, she's always. Do you want to repeat how she sends it? She's like she's a always been, 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 been really sweet to me. What is wrong with her? Yeah, she's always like a breath of fresh air. She's always been sweet to me. It kills her to say something nice about one of the other kids. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, but no, oh, Robin, don't we don't know mom. your kids because you don't let your kids come around any yeah. anytime, anywhere, except little sweetie. Also, why isn't Robin there helping them pack up? Oh, Cody, they'll just be mean to me. They don't like me. She needs to take care of the kids who are at a tender age. God. Yeah, get a freaking Aurora's ass over there. Oh, I'm she'll just have a panic her. attack and Cody will have to carry her home. Jesus. And always been like, I don't know, loving and kind. And, you know, it will be sad to not have her around. It kills her. I'm excited to... It, cross country. Isabel and I have plenty of space because we're in the front. Truly has no space because she's in the back. Oh, no. <laughs> Two weeks away from home in a tiny cramped car with no one but my sister and my mom. There is no space for anything. She wants to go. Did I mention that it's cramped? <laughs> yeah. no idea how oh, she's sister. got a little comedian here. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> Gets it from her dad. I think that if he had it his way, he would pack it himself. Oh, he, he's just gently pushing things that are already packed in there. He just yeah. goes, he's just like push squishing the towels. Bit, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. <sighs> that, that was loaded so, up yeah. the night before, and he just rolled in and like he's like, oh, yeah, it's in there. It's in there. It's in there. Mm. Uh, Joe in Salt Lake City says, forgot his gloves, he can't help. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> he can't even bring his gloves. Caught his gloves. Yes, exactly. Robin judges how each person, yep, and how they were to her. Because she doesn't yeah, come and... around enough to see what they're actually like with other people. God. Tweeza says, is it possible that somebody, or that something is medically wrong with Robin? She can't work. Can somebody be, can somebody really be so lazy as her without medical reason. I mean, I haven't heard you know, anything. Amber Portwood. She didn't like certain things when she was pregnant. Mm. Oh, her Remember Robin tummy. when they went to the Chinese buffet and she was like, I don't see anything I like here, Cody. I'll just get and this all, giant all plate wives, of lo mein. Yes, all the wives got salad because they were on their diet journeys. <sighs> Because Bill, the trainer, was like, hey, of, Janelle, you fatty, you want to get up here? 212, everyone. That ass. You know, you're, no, no, you two ladies are pretty fat, but Janelle, you're on the verge of death. Yeah, if you guys want to go <laughs> back to season the devil. four, is it? Three, season three, four. Yeah, the trainer, that. Bill, was a monster. Yeah, sister wife's diet woes is what it's called. Oh my God, he was horrible. Okay, so yeah, now let's bad. see Cody. Cody's standing there like Forrest Gump with his hands on his hips like, well, I guess I helped him pack the car now. Just do it. We packed it. I'm loading into the car now. Well, why don't you give me a hug first? My dad isn't comfortable. Truly's like, yeah, okay, I'll give I you I guess I gotta get out of the car because you can't walk over three feet to give me a hug. He has children here in Flagstaff, so it's not like he can also be away for that long. Also, like, there's still COVID around, unfortunately. No, he can. Uh, That's yeah, tricky to say that, but you can. Point. It's done and it's over. And she's moving on. And I'm finally like willing to accept that. But I'm not going to take a trip with her. Mm -hmm. I swear, I love you. It was a nice trip. Looks like it's going to be fun. Isabel, oh, that sounds convincing. Yeah. All right, have a nice trip. Looks like it's going to be fun as well. You okay, could. this is where someone needs to tell Cody that quote, like, you have to love your kids more than you hate your ex. You got to love truly and, oh, no. and all, I mean, my God, he's just so immature. No, he openly says, I don't want to be around Christine because yeah. I don't like her because she left Then, like, fly, then fly out, 
help her move in for a day, stay yes. overnight one or two nights, and then fly back. All right, we got. He's going to his gun trees. shows. Treasy, uh, I love you. Yeah, Please. exactly. How long was he at a sportsman show? Exactly. How long was he at the wedding? Uh, Part of my whole life is that my kids don't have a great relationship with their dad. He doesn't even know him. And what about your spare keys? Did you get one of the keys? You know what's sad, too, is they don't know how amazing he is, either. Well, is he, though? Cody has this awesome side to him that my kids don't know and who I fell in love with. Okay. All right, you guys have a good trip. Of course, he's not that person anymore, and neither am I. It's sad all around. I love you. Love you see you. Love you Look at that hug. This is a hug of a daughter and father of her moving away potentially years before yeah. he ever sees her again. He's like, all right. That, it's about him Bye. being like, I guess I'm just going to stay here and you guys go. Bye. I guess you're leaving me. It's about him being yeah. sad. Mm. Poor Cole. He's being left out. What a loser. Listen, I have 18 kids. I'm spread thin. You don't you're have 18, 18 kids, though. Yeah. You, have, you have five kids. It's yeah, your, your 18 kids are not there. Okay. Yeah. True. The last two. Oh, no. Hold on. Gwen is still there. So, Gwen, yeah, then Aurora, and then the other. Ariel and Solomon. That's it. Gwen Gwen should be the host of the talk. <gasps> <laughs> she would murder him. <laughs> Although, okay, Peyton might be really good. <gasps> Ooh, that may be good too. I mean, Peyton's got his issues. I mean, you know, but I don't Gabe? think he would hold back. No, Gabe oh. is a little too um, emotional still, Q I think. Oh, I was going to say QAnon-y. Um, <laughs> QAnon-y! <laughs> I mean, really, any of them, any of them, Maddie, any no, of those kids. Maddie wouldn't hold them to the cold. Hold on, oh, hear me out. 20. Hear me out on this one. Oh my God, Tony, yes, yes. Caleb, Caleb. If I Caleb was just going to say Caleb because yeah. he could, he would, he would razzle dazzle Cody oh, and make yeah. him spill. He'd be singing like a little birdie. Oh. Um, Kayla just said, I talked with someone at a party last night who partied with McKelty at the time, <gasps> all the time. Went Party. to a graduation. Yeah, they went. McKelty loves a vodka cran. I can see that. I can see that for her. Oh, you know why? Because it was on Sex in the City. I bet you she was a Sex in the City head. No, it's Cosmopolitan. Oh, is that close enough? No. Oh, uh, yeah. This, this I don't know. I, I'm not sophisticated like you. Them to do something with them that they like it's not always an easy connection well, i'm sitting here going reflecting on what could have been done differently and what has happened to us you were there to my life what has happened to my purpose and, and the things that i was pursuing before because i feel so distant from it and now isabel's moving as far away as she could oh my god Weird. not true it's several states away. It's not like no, she's possibly. going. Not knowing when I'm going to see him again. Oh my god! How you doing, my friend? Oh my god! I'm, I don't know when I'm going to be back here. Aww. Especially since we haven't really gone to spend as much time together as I think we both would have wanted. Not knowing when I'm going to see him again is it's really hard. Hey, you're fine. Yeah, I'll be fine, Isabel. Yeah, you're, you're gonna realize cold, how yeah. little of him you miss. Yeah. Cody's pounding for the camera, but he's gonna skip and click his heels all the way to Robin's house. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't get to say goodbye to the Janelle and her kids. Sorry, so... Yeah, it's rough. Why? Wait, pause a second. That what is weird. Be? Why didn't they? Because she seems to be on good terms with them. They they sang for her. I mean, Janelle's kids, I can see maybe not seeing them because some of them are obviously out of state. She's going to see Maddie. And I'm sure Gabe, Garrison are working or whatever. So I could see like maybe that 
or traveling because isn't one of them in the National Guard or something? But Robin's kids are all there. Why couldn't they come yeah, say goodbye? They couldn't say yeah, goodbye. It does kind of seem like they left in a little hurry there. Well, yeah, why I mean, wasn't Janelle there? I'm sure that maybe they said goodbye. Maybe well, they had like the goodbye party before, I guess, but. Right, they oh. say, feel the rain on your skin. No one else can feel it for you. Only you can let it in. No one else. No one else. Wait, is that Laguna Beach that I was singing? I don't know, but I don't like that song. I can't... Was I singing the wrong song? <laughs> I don't know. But you know I what song really bugs me? That beach. like, um, yeah, gonna be bang. You're gonna be strong. You're gonna... I hate gonna that song. Or like the I I'm like a bear. I live my own way. I don't like that. Ah, uh, yes, Natalie and No, Natalie and Bruglia. Don't you is dare. Torn. I'm naked on the floor. Yeah. That's a banger. That's a banger. Cool oh, tonight. I'm lying naked. On the okay, so let's see. All right, so they're driving away from Coyote Pass. And so I'm moving is the hardest. She's just moving so far, and I don't know when I'm going to see her again. Next month, I'm going to be moving to Utah, and I don't know what that looks like. And so I think half of this is everything is so uncertain, because my life is uncertain completely. Next time on Ooh. Sister Wives. Oh, next time. All right, let's stop. Okay, I was singing the right song. I think I was just singing, like, a different part of it. Uh, uh -huh. Nelly Furtado, yes. She looks like mm. Courtney Cox. I'm like a bird. I'm yeah, don't like away. that one. I don't know where my soul is. I don't okay, know where my soul is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to next time on Sister Rives. I'm excited. Okay, let's see. Okay. What, let's do it. My house is now under contract. I just hope they don't hate me. I am moving next week. Congratulations, you're leaving the family. Like I don't know what I'm supposed to say to this. We never made an agreement. We never went to our church leaders and said, hey, we're divorced. You know, would they even allow us a divorce? Usually, you have to go ask for a divorce. You know, technically, until Christine is physical with another man, she's not divorced. What? Being a mom is my most important thing. I know without a doubt, I have tried to make this work. But I couldn't stay married to someone who had favorites and made it known. Oh shit, I just got chills. She gets up and walks away. Oh, I got chills too. Okay, Robin saying technically she's not married until she's physical with someone else, or she's not divorced until she's physical According with someone else. According to who you, Robin? Shut yeah. Up. Go away. When did that rule come? Bye -bye. When did that come around? So Janelle's mom was not divorced until she got physical right. with Cody's dad then? Yeah, when she shared that that man with that handsome woman, Cody's mom, handsome woman. <laughs> she is a handsome woman. <laughs> um, what the hell? Gotta hate Robin. All right. No, there's no sympathy for Robin. Yeah, shut oh, up, Robin. No. Ugh. Yes. I, I that I'm was just wild. Your that was honestly end. wild. Ooh. We kind of. I'm gonna brush out my curls right now. Oh yeah, yeah. Brush it out. Brush it out. It's gonna. Oh. It's going to feel so good and for all of us. Last it. opportunity. This, if you guys want to leave us a tip or a super sticker or a super chat, do it now as I brush out my curls. <laughs> yeah, what the hell was Mary saying? Like, oh, like where does Mary get off? Mary was a oh, monster Mary to all of them. Right the fuck off. Yeah, Robin is very, oh, is very sad. Wait, what, you, okay, wait. I want you to take the brush and go under and like out like that. Just like this? Just, no, no, no. Go under your hair. Oh. Start at the... No, go like this. It's gonna hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I just pull it back. Like I need, I, I need it. Yes, I okay. need you to just and brush we'll... those curls out. Yeah, you brush it. You brush it real good. Whoa. Yeah, Robin is very with the technicalities. Like her divorce was fine, but then no one else's is allowed. Oh yeah, Robin wasn't divorced until the honeymoon. Well, she was it not in a polygamist marriage before so maybe that's why well she was according to her she was first wife oh she considered herself to be a polygamist she just never they never got a new wife oh i didn't know that you didn't know that 
No, she just considered herself first wife. I thought that they weren't going to have... Oh, hold on. Mary Jane with a T. Their church kicked them out. Mary Jane, are you meaning Robin and her ex that they got kicked out? The whole Brown family. Oh, sure. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. Yes. Brush it out. Brush it out. Yeah. See, that's a good pony you got going on, though. You got a real good pony. Thank you, Loco Vision. God, you stop. You give us. I know, Loco. You deserve this. Sweet. (laughs) My lips are as dry as Mary's. Look at this. That was long. (laughs) We went three and a half hours. You guys enjoyed that. Okay, so we're getting clarification. Robin's husband did not want a second wife. Thank you, Ames. That's so sweet. Yeah, we need no more tangles for sure. Interesting. He didn't want a second wife. Then she's just so full of shit. She just lies. Robin's a liar. Oh, okay. The Shocker. Brown family. Yeah. Oh, they did God. embarrass the church. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. We love you guys. Thank you. I mean, three and a half hours. You guys are all troopers. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Yeah, you guys were great. <laughs> you didn't go eat something. What are you going to eat? Some steak, some man meat, right? Man meat. Oh, uh, no, yeah. I bought like a egg sandwich. Oh, God, you and your eggs. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right, we love you guys. Uh, if you guys can, please stay till the end of our little ad here, the shitty one that I made. And uh, then we'll have, go we about your day. We you love you guys. guys. And uh, we're going to yeah. go take our faces off now. Yes, I cannot <laughs> wait. All right, you're all adults. Bye-bye. Well, guys, it's been a blast. Thank you so much for joining us today on our We Love to Hate Everything channel. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a like or even a comment and click on that bell if you want notifications because you never know when we might pop up and go live. Please check out our other two podcasts on Patreon, where we snark on even more TV, movies, and pop culture. We got Total Request Podcast, that's patreon.com slash trpod, and We Love to Hate TV, patreon.com slash love to hate TV. Thanks again, and we will see you next time! <laughs>